<laughs> All right, should have fixed that problem there. Sorry about that. Okay. Everything's you fine now. What it was, but I did like it. There was a big it problem in which I had a win a Twitch window open and it was playing our own audio and then my computer <laughs> was listening like we had to it and twice sending it back as many to Twitch. friends for a moment. And um, I really liked it. So apologies about the little mix up. That's part of the magic <laughs> of live streaming. Hi. Um we're unprepared casters. Uh my name is True. Gus. And then the other the other host is Haley, and sh she's here. And then we have everyone here that was in Arc Seven, and that's great. Um, <laughs> All right, this energy is have, something. Do, am I doing guys. a good job? Do you want to take over? You're doing it. No, you're doing. Please, so no, good. please. I'd love for you to. You're well, the dungeon no, master. Honey, you I can, love it. You can you can <laughs> grab it for me here. It's cool. I'm out. <laughs> okay, we're doing a live stream. Gus introduced himself and it was ha doing really well and having a good time. So he's here. My name's Haley. I'm going to be DMing the live stream, much like I DM'd Arc 7 and also Arc 1, which was the same group of people. Does everyone want to say hello real quick? Say your names and who you're playing. As long as you call on us so we don't have to do the awkward talking over. Jenny, why don't you go first, sweetheart? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jenny, and I'm playing Hope Lovejoy on this beautiful little live stream we have here today. Do you think we need to go through the whole shebang of, of class and like I, level and like race? Do you want to? Say whatever shebang you want. Shebang away. This is, this is your uh, space. Free to shebang. This is my space. I'll create it real, real quick. Hmm. I'm feeling cleric. <laughs> I'm feeling life cleric. I'm feeling high elf, a part of a very rich family, level 10. <laughs> That's what we're putting on the table today. Why are you like a psychic entering a haunted house? <laughs> I was creating my space, Haley. <laughs> you were sensing hope. I was I'm sensing feeling, can I speak to hope right now? Can I speak? <laughs> can I speak to Pelor right now? I'm just feeling the sun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pax. Hello, I'm Pax. I'm playing Deb. Deb is a tiefling. Deb is level 15, College of Lore Bard. That's all you need to know. And there's Kyle. Hey, yo, I'm Kyle. I, I was watching. I was watching and I forgot I was part of the thing I was watching. Um, I'm Kyle and I am playing Thavius, a soul knife rogue. He's level 12. He's Shadar Kai. That's it. He sounded like there was going to be more, but there wasn't. It's, I was waiting for more, but that's no. okay. You Tell us one more. fun fact about the boy. Yeah. His last name is Sunbloom. <laughs> that is a fun Very fact. fun fact. Uh, Gus, did you actually want to introduce Mr.? You know what? I'd love to. Um, <laughs> the character I'll be playing tonight is name is Sir Mr. Person. Um, he is a human. He uh, has five levels of samurai fighter and three levels of Oath of the Crown Paladin. Thank you very much, Sir Mr. Person. You're so welcome. Jonathan. Hey, guys. It's me. Um... <laughs> <laughs> gonna... That's good. That's all we need. <laughs> nice, I... nice, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing Scavendy. You know him. You love him. He's a robot. <laughs> He's a librarian. He's still level four. That's not changing anytime soon. <laughs> what am I missing? No, you got it. <laughs> you, I think you did it. <laughs> wizard? Did you say wizard? Must have. You said librarian. Uh, That's good enough. No. Did you say subclass? <laughs> Mm, mm. Do you remember? He's the divvy guy. Have you rolled portent you for the roll? live stream? Oh, I should roll. <laughs> what did you take us? What? No, I was, was asking. He was the reminding you of that. Yeah, well. about okay. portent. Yeah. Yeah. You can either say your rolls out loud or just send them to me. Oh, not out loud. Okay. <laughs> I knew you weren't gonna take it, but I did have to put out the offer. Oh, sure. <laughs> Everything is secret. It's fine. All right. Please these, send me your secrets. These are Keb 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 says the chat, and you know what? I so agree. Sure, don't Keb, forget Keb, Keb Keb. Thank you for the numbers, John. Oh, I see a cannon there. What? <laughs> There's a can amongst the Kebs in one of them. <laughs> Keb, Keb, Keb. Can you Keb, 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 Keb I that actually I hate that as a nickname for Seventy Three. Nobody ever called Ken? him. Ken. <laughs> he called me Beater of Babies last arc. I can't call yes, him Ken. Did. Yes. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> hey, hey, he called you Brigadier. Yeah, brigadier oh, beater of babies. Hmm. You yeah. just. 
All oh right, live stream. <laughs> live stream. The energy in the space. This feels like the energy we had when we were recording the finale, which is so exciting. Uh, <laughs> Picking it up right where we dropped it off. Very much so. I need to mute a Discord channel real quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I'm yeah. just one step ahead of you there. Yeah. <laughs> the Met Gala group chat yeah. is popping off. Yes. Right. Um, I am in I spoilers for Arc 7 in this live stream, just so you're all aware in the chat and also in the call. We're spoiling Arc 7 beginning right now. I'm closet cosplaying Lathe today. Nice. <laughs> beautiful makeup. Incredible. Lathe is in the coin. We all understand. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. I simply have what? to pop off. <laughs> For Arc 3 I'm so too. sorry I didn't tell you. Are we doing and how much spoiling for Arc Three? Are we doing? Um, I, we mild. You can Don't talk about whatever you want. <laughs> Spoilers are just things that have happened in the world we're all living in. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't sweat it. If you're watching this right now and you haven't caught up on all the arcs, welcome to our podcast. They're, um, they're, yeah, if you're really worried about spoilers, one, three, and seven might get spoiled. And three just has two wrapped up in it. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're good on four, five, six. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'd be sorry when I spoil part of arc three. Whoops. Um, do you ever want to slay a dungeon dragon with me? Yes, please. A single, could I have one dungeon okay. dragons, please? Would you like one dungeon and one dragon or one dungeon dragon? Together, please. Okay. Or not at all. It depends on how much time we have. We have like two to three hours. Do you think that's mm. enough? It's, I, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Are we there? Yeah, we're here. <laughs> are we there yet we crossed the bridge sure call I trust you. About it. you'll figure it out mm. yeah okay i hate starting things. All right. <laughs> do you want me to start for you i can do it yeah do you want to do it guys yeah okay so okay um we open <laughs> on uh the arc seven party um uh -huh. we've got thavius uh, who's, you know, oh, taking yeah. a really long time trying to figure out where to put this coin. Um, <laughs> and Just in general. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we know what machine to slot it into. Got all yeah. of Thavius' friends who he mm -hmm. took to meet his wife. Uh, his yeah. friends met his wife. I assume they had a lovely time. Um, I guess that's up to you guys. <laughs> okay. You can, I think I think she was very pleasant to you all. Probably a little bit high strung because she wasn't ready for like four guests. Mm -hmm. um, Hope was, was very a nice hospitable. time. Of course. Yeah. Hope began running the home for her. <laughs> um, so you were there. I. That's also up to you. How long you guys wanted to hang out in the Sunbloom residence? Um, it's quite I know. Small. One of you is feeling a little bit of urgency to keep moving, but I don't know about the other four. How long do you think you hung out with, uh, with Evelyn? I, I think Thavius probably made a point to say that they were only staying a night. Okay. Uh, Reschedule. Works for Mr. He probably will just uh, mooch off of hopes sending spells every single day and be like yeah, uh could you let eliza know <laughs> new eta right Still about there. a day or two um i assume probably like you know they, they've had some other distractions on the road as well it's just mm -hmm. something fell in the middle they got are they traveling on horse and foot um well what did you guys have when you walked out i believe sugar. it was just horse and foot yeah it was mm -hmm. stories sugar and your own feet so you're walking, basically. Right. Yeah. I think that I Hope has yeah. been sending a couple extra sending spells to Eliza, I think. Uh, just to be like, by the way, Mr. is such a lovely person. <laughs> and just constantly, I am a pleasure. So glad to have met him. And it just like always cuts off in the middle of the message. Yeah. <laughs> Talking him up to his own wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> always appreciate the assist, truly. Very helpful. <laughs> Yeah, well, we don't want her to be mad. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I, Mister's, Mister's coming back into a doghouse and tile. He's, he's <laughs> sweating. Anything helps. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so you let Kyle help me out. Where? What's the name of the town that the Thumblooms live in? Does it have a name? Spring Haven. Spring Cute. Haven. That's adorable. The Sunbloom residence in Spring Haven. Um, so you you're on wife tour, 2022. 2022. Spring Haven stops <laughs> complete before you go to tile. There is something to do on the way. Uh, there's a little town shortly after Spring Haven, um, but there's it's still quite a bit quite a ways to tile. It's a little tiny town. It's known for like it's breweries. It was, a uh, honestly, it's like a lot of like dwarves and humans that just kind of set up a little town called ferment. Ah! And <laughs> You've named it that. <laughs> <laughs> um, ferment. Yeah. There's a little town. It's called ferment. If you want to stop there and get some uh, drinks, it's a great place to do so. Um, but notably there is not a, you spell it like the word ferment. Um, there is not a temple of Celestian, uh, Thavius. There's not one in Ferment. There's one near Ferment. Yes. Uh, but so you know that's that's kind of the starting point you need to be at. Mm-hmm. Uh, John, you can't send me things. I break. You can send things to Kyle. He doesn't break. I can send you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I always break. You just need to look for it. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle was losing it like 45 seconds ago. I was losing it because I was ready for her to say for me. Oh, okay. I said him the name of the town earlier. He got mad at me. Um, yes. Ferment was pretty, like two, three hours of walking. Not that far. Um, so, Fabius, once you got to this little town, what was uh, your game plan? I guess, did anyone else have a game plan? This is kind of Fabius's mish. How are we approaching? You need to find a temple of Celestians. Um, I think I would have just told them, you know, I know where we're going. It's it's by this town, but we might as well stop in for a moment so that we can get our bearings, and then it, it's a short journey from there. Um, uh, journey. Uh, sorry, what? Excuse me. Yes. Where are we going? It's the the town. Ferment. Okay. You know, right. It's, it's in between here and tile. Uh, okay. So it's on the way. So it's like a quick drink situation then. Because I can do a quick two, we'll call it two drinks. Um, We're, we can stop for drinks. Notably, it is just the, the landmark helps me sort of navigate my way to where the temple is. Temple? It's where I have to return return the call. Oh, okay. So we so we're we, the four of us stop for a drink. You can pop over to the temple, <laughs> swing on back, and then we can I go to would Tile. Actually love it if you all came with me. I would love to come to, to the, the temple. temple with you, my it's dear friend. Not, great. Hope's going to the temple. That's great. It's it's like very close. Okay, cool. So it's just like is there a drop box situation here? <laughs> Or it's... Mr. Eliza will be fine. I assure you. Um... I assure you, absolutely fine. And we can take this time, and we are all quite capable people, and we shall not take more than what is uh, necessary. Sir, Mr. Mm. Do you care to assist me in saving the soul of the man who sacrificed his life for the world? <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, will you put it like that? Yes, 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 Davius. Of course, yes! <laughs> Wait, hold on, Davius. You got the soul of Pete Diggerson in there? <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not guess who? that. Who, who did you say? I have not, I'm not, not aware. The soul. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. no. Wait, tell me more oh. about this Peter. Pete Diggerson? <laughs> you haven't heard yes, of I, What I did he do? Heard. He, I mean, he's the one who filled up the world hole. Not the world hole. <laughs> yeah, the very same. Wow. How, how, how did, long ago how did was I that? not know the how name? Is that a time? <laughs> Scavendy. Is I this some, I don't know if this would be something I remember or not. Scavendy. Myth. Five original myths. Pete's. Oh, it's a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Scavendy. 
Pete's name. I don't know if you know this. Is his name in the library? It's been white. I haven't. I haven't seen a word of we him. Only, we only have like one copy of the tales. Wow. Like it's, wow. It's a little. That... It's a little after. I mean, everyone knows him usually. Wow. I, it's the first I've heard of him. I think that the stories have been fading with time, and that is why your library is so important. It's and the work that you true. do is so sacred, and I think it should be appreciated by everyone in the community. Deb, Deb you've heard of Pete Diggerson. Uh, you know, it seems like kind of a modern name for one of the original myths. I don't know. It seems the names are <laughs> cyclical, though, I heard. Right? You heard of anachronism? Yeah. You know, they all yeah. come back <laughs> around like every 6,000 years or something like that. You know, we're going to start right. having misters again in a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pretty soon. Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah. Again, when were they before the now? Hmm? Huh? Again? Like well, though, because my name is Mister, and then eventually the, family name. the name Mister is going to fall out of fashion, and then, you know, eventually. a few millennia are going to pass, and everyone will have forgotten that Mister's not cool anymore, and then more people, you know, trends. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Pete, you know, Scavendy, I think it's really important that you're coming with us uh, right. on Wife Tour um, mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, a lot of the things that you have there in that library, you know, not a lot of people come to Summerview. Um, cool. And and uh, and so and so if other people like me and Tile and S Spring Bloom Haven. Hey, all right. I wasn't sure if there was Blue Haven. I wasn't. I would. I would get it confused in my brain. Some people might not have heard of Pete Diggerson. Pete Diggerson, like me, it's important to 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 make sure the name gets out there. That's all I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where we're ending tonight. That's weird. that's all. Um, maybe it's never even answered the question of if that's who's in the coin. <laughs> it, I, is it Pete in the coin? Davius just waited for this conversation <laughs> to die down. Um, I will say, I am not allowed to disclose. <gasps> who is in that the coin. totally means it's Pete Diggerson. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He'd tell us if it wasn't. <laughs> He'd tell us. Uh, yes, of course, Thavius. We'll help you take not Pete uh, to, you know, the Dropbox. Sure. I think not it Pete is, is going to come back as a name soon. It is a holy... <laughs> Thanks, Deb. It is, it is a holy temple. Mm. Not just a Dropbox. I didn't think the whole thing was a Dropbox. Oh. Don't get me wrong. My, I was thinking that perhaps if I get the impression that there's no Dropbox at all. So we're going to go to a place. I got to do the thing really okay. quickly. Okay. You guys just sort of guard me while it happens. Of course. Uh -huh. now, who wants a drink? Me. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go to ferment. Of course. Um, like I said, Town of Ferment, pretty little. Um, it's pretty focused on what it does. Um, I do want to ask you something, actually, Thavius. There were uh, the not Pete in your coin did want to be dictating letters to you. Has that been something you've been like doing for him? Have you been scribing? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to know if that has been happening. Um, I... <clears throat> think uh Thavius actually retreated to his room on wife tour okay. um he has a room in the house designated to just himself not his bedroom it's only a desk and it's for him to return all of the letters he gets whenever he comes home and to, so it's just for writing um mm -hmm. so he he wrote all of the letters um it is the most tired lathe has ever been because he wanted to get it done. So mm -hmm. I actually contacted Lathe, me, myself, Kyle, the person, um, <laughs> contacted Lathe I did it. Uh, three times in a night, cool. which was very taxing for him, um, but got everything out that he wanted to say. And then um, from Springhaven in the morning before we departed, um, I paid a man I don't know the name of and didn't ask the name of who doesn't know my name mm -hmm. to send the letters 
to uh, Diarmid, who will then dictate the rest. Yes. Uh, five. I assume beautifully written. I assume Thavius has gorgeous handwriting. He does. It's like a calligraphy, really. Yes. Um, yeah. And uh, there's actually six. Um, there is a secret letter that Thavius took upon himself to write directly to Diarmid only. Oh. Um, still not mentioning his name, but sure. explaining in more detail uh, what has been happening. Awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, I just wanted to know if that had happened. I forgot to mention that earlier. You're in Ferment. I didn't plan out the town of Ferment. This is just where you were supposed to be near. <laughs> Did you guys want to stop here for a long time? Are we just using this as a quick, this is where we are? Just a little place. You can get drunk if you want, I guess. <laughs> Pick I up think some pickles. Thavius's plan was to be here for like an hour. Okay. Tracks. Uh, I'll, it's, M- Mister will burst through the door of whatever bar is nearby. Boom! Survey the scene. What's <laughs> what do I see? What's the situation here? Good place for drink. I would um, assume so. The damn place is called ferment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like there's maybe two people in here, and one of them works here, um, and looks like startled. Definitely that you just slammed the door open. Um, small dwarven woman uh-huh. just turns, like hands up. Hello. Hi. I have friends. Do you, um, <laughs> were you looking for drinks? I turn and I look expectantly at my four friends. I lean over to Hope and I'm like, why does he boom? Uh, y- yes. I'm nodding. I'm nodding. I'm. I'm. I. I was wondering. I specific. I love. So I. I don't know if you have it, but I was wondering if it is possible if you had some fermented tea. I do love that, and I don't get it in many places. <laughs> of course we do. You're in for men. <laughs> I'll want uh. some kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... You can sit um, anywhere. Anyone else have... You want fermented tea? What do you want? You're just pointing at everybody. I'm going to lean over to Skevendy and go, Is, do you drink things? <laughs> On occasion. I'm going to like lift up the bottom half of the paper mask and just look at the exposed wiring and go, Is that safe? <laughs> Maintaining eye contact with him as he's doing that. <laughs> 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 and just like, I kind of look at him and I look over uh, to the folks in the in the establishment and I go, do you guys got a, this is ferment, isn't it? Do you have a crude oil? <laughs> no, but I've got some stuff just as dark. Do you want that? That works. Okay. Two ales, please. Else? Can do. All right. You point to Deb. Um, called uh some, something um. Sweet. You should really try the try the try the tea. You should try it. I I think it's quite good. Two teas. Okay. Two teas. You in the back. What? Oh, I'll take I'll I'll take ice water. <laughs> Could I have <laughs> fermented we ice don't, and water? Um, have any of that? We only have fermented things. <laughs> do you have any? Do you have any fermented ice water? <laughs> really ferment? Kind of a thing about that. Yes, have you tried? We haven't actually. I just real quick. I just have a quick curiosity question. Mostly. Yeah. What's up? Fermenting. <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> Bacteria? Oh. I don't know. Yeah, it's yes. a lot of stuff with like Sugar. microbes and backgrounds. Uh, like, I, I can ask for a fermented milk, but that's just cheese. Yeah, yeah. No, like, what? So beer is fermented? Hops Brain. and things. Hops. Oats. Oats. Hops. Hops, oats, and barley. Could you make beer milk? 
Is cheese beer? Sounds bad. <laughs> no, but do you want some beer cheese? Yes. I do. All right. This place is great. <laughs> I, uh, you said that there's one customer in here, right? Yeah, there I'll, is. Mr. Will, uh, a- after learning that beer cheese exists, uh, will bound his way over to the nearest table and while passing the only other customer, go, hello! And then, <laughs> and then sit himself down. Startle the shit out of this, like, punched over man. <laughs> I look over to Thavius and I'm like, do you drink? Um, sometimes. I try not to. Mm. Before I'm doing something very important, I'm a lightweight. I like I like mimic mimic the thing he was doing with my mask and like lift up his hair, and I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Analyzing each other, good. Um, all of your various orders, except for Thavius's, because they don't have water here. Uh, <laughs> goes to your table. <laughs> Um, Skev, they really don't have oil. It's just like a really dark stout. Is it like emulsified? Does it have oil in it? No, hun, it's beer. <laughs> <laughs> they give you alcohol uh-huh. in a big mug. You could probably degunk with this, right? Don't. <laughs> 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 kombuchas and two ales for mister and just like a block of cheese it's living in luxury here in ferment i have i have opened up like fermentation and i'm f- learning so many things i'm so sorry <laughs> i didn't read that wikipedia <laughs> miso soup is fermented soybeans right. i didn't know this nope. crazy what? John just knows things about fermentation, I think. What else is a fermented <laughs> something else? Pickles are fermented. That's right. Pickles are pickled. It's that, a form of fermentation. That's... And like sauerkraut and, mm-hmm. and kimchi. Sauerkraut. And uh, gee. probiotic yogurt. What's probiotic my list? Yogurt? Kimchi. <laughs> right. This is the real experience of playing D&D with your friends. <laughs> Unless huh. you just end up in Wikipedia rabbit holes. <laughs> And we just live like that. Um, it's every time. It's every time. <laughs> <laughs> it is every time. We did do this with um, how much space a gallon of water takes up That's in our true. seven recordings. That's we not a joke. That. <laughs> we went on a real rabbit hole. We had not to sure know. how much of that was left in the actual episode, not, but not there was nearly more as much that happened. It was like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Unprepared casters uncut. You Even though this. it was solved by a quick Google and Haley didn't believe me. I didn't like it. I didn't like what I had to told find me. a YouTube video of someone <laughs> pouring gallons of water into a square box. <laughs> and it explained things to me. What do you want? <sighs> <sighs> you had a great time in ferment. I mean, I'm Yay! So <laughs> Deb does not like kombucha. <laughs> oh, no. oh, you feel so bad that no, she no. offered something to Deb that Deb did not like. They're just like they're trying really hard to like not show it, but like. It's, mm. Oh, can we it's... roll off? You want deception, please? Ooh. Yeah, deception, please. Insight, oh, are you yeah. like trying to see if Deb likes it? Yeah. Insight. Okay. Unless you want me to do like a passive insight, because I'm passive not necessarily... insight would just be ten plus your insight bonus, like passive perception. I'll do that because I don't think that Hope is like looking, looking sure. for it. That's yeah. That's why I asked if, if she was like seeking it out. So I got a twenty-two. Ooh. Oh, my, yeah. There's our bard. <laughs> the thing about that is that I rolled a seven. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's our, there's our bard. Um, okay, I, I think you love af- it. After Deb uh, <laughs> tries the kombucha and Mister sees that they like it so much, um, Mister mm-hmm. will go. Can I try? <laughs> oh yeah. It's uh. It's um. I can't say it's sweet. I thought that, um, but here you go. You can you can try it. Why, thank you. And he'll drink too much. Um, you know, when you like let someone take a sip of something, and you ex- there's a certain range that you expect that they'll that they'll take before giving it back. I don't think he's aware of it, um, but it definitely mm-hmm. is a really impressive gulp. Um, and he gives like the last remnants of the drink back to Hope. There, that was delicious. Great. That's what Mr. did. 
that's, that's very man taking a sip of a beverage. I just like how many of Mister's behaviors are like, yeah, that's a man. <laughs> that's, that's a man doing a thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Does anyone else have anything they want to do in the town of ferment? Uh, I mean, I've got an agenda, so I'm ready to. Yeah. yeah. I guess not. <laughs> I want to spend yeah. the whole live stream. Yeah, I know. If you have more things you want to do, we can. Blaze can just stay in the coin. It's fine. <laughs> he doesn't need to leave. He didn't want to leave. Fine. You're the one who told him to go. Okay, I think at a certain point, um, it is starting to get dark. Probably, um, Thavius will like notice the sky and be like, "This is a good time." We should go. Very well. All right. Lead the way. Wonderful. You walk out of the town of Ferment. Thavius, where are you going? Um, Thavius will walk like if you were walking um just a little bit north to get mm -hmm. to Ferment, he'll he'll take you out like hard west like straight west uh about 10 minutes okay and then he'll take like a almost all the way back like a 260 degree angle turn suddenly okay and then walk for a little bit mm -hmm. and then he just continuously every 10 to 15 minutes or so will take another like weird sharp almost overcorrected turn Okay. Um, none of you see any like towns were past ferment. It was very small. Um, or anything notable uh, approaching or in the distance. But he just keeps on making these turns. Um, he uh, keeps on just like looking at the sky and then looking down <laughs> and then nodding to himself and then taking another turn. Um, yep, yep. This, goes on, dark. this goes the on for about as is... long as it takes for someone to bring it up <laughs> I think it's I, getting dark you've been walking thankfully, for a while thankfully we have Sir Mr. I was sure just I do not about to say <laughs> that it will take that long actually thankfully I was, I was waiting for the opportunity to say that after a few turns I think Mr. will lean into whoever he's walking next to um, you'd like to be walking next. Uh, let's call it Scavendy, uh, and whisper too loudly. Is Thavius pranking us? <laughs> I don't think he's got it in him. Uh, that's what I thought too, but this this doesn't seem uh, effective. <laughs> I mean, I've been following along on the map, and oh. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can the map like please please be an insanely squiggly line <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you want it to be there's like a road that yeah, I, wanted really to, I wanted to like line up with what they do so, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry you asked permission for the for a squiggly line but not for the world <laughs> hole <laughs> <laughs> you just the world the world the five original myths and the <laughs> no I'm glad you asked permission for this one John because here's the thing is unless you have been drawing the squiggly line you've been walking uh, on the map uh, no that's good that's good actually I'm, cr I'm chronicling it I'm... yeah there could be a squiggly line if you're putting it there but there right. it does not appear that he's following uh, mm. roads on your map. So I, I guess I guess Mister will see this map and he'll <laughs> uh, he'll look at uh at look up at Thavius and go, uh, hey Thavius. Thavius is like almost like crouching on the ground, looking for a second. He'll stand up, turn back like halfway. Yes, I'll turn the map and I'll show him. I'll go. Does this look familiar to you? <laughs> Davies will for a second. One of these <laughs> over here. He'll squint for a second and go, yes, it looks good so far. Thank oh. you. Uh, and then he will keep walking. No! <laughs> oh. 
If you could, if you could remind me exactly what we are doing, uh, it's not that I do not think that we are going in a in a in a purposeful direction. I just I just would like to know how we are deciding our direction. Oh, we're not. Oh. Are you trying to tire Pete out before you put him to sleep? <laughs> oh. He... Okay. <laughs> That's what's round... happening. Am I? <laughs> you round that. The soul in my coin needs to go to. Thavius is speaking forward as he walks. <laughs> um, is Celestian. Mm. Mm. The realm of the god of the stars. Do we have to? However, okay. please forgive the deception, mister. The what? The... <laughs> This god is also the god, god of wanderers and the lost. He's going to turn around and give like a weak smile. You can't find the temple unless you get lost first. And I knew if I told you, it wouldn't happen. It was, it was kinda, you it was didn't like, have to bring me, Thavius. <laughs> I'm casting, I'm casting, I'm casting, I'm casting. <laughs> You're casting. Calm emotions on <laughs> Right. Hang on, wait. I gotta make sure this works. Hang on. Yeah. Is this a real thing? It's a. I mean, it's a. Spell. It's called. I know. I, I want to make sure I, I, it's actually make a, relevant. I assume it's a save or something. Um, hang on. Let me read this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can basically just calm him down. Yep. Uh, I mean, it, it gets rid of, of the effects charm. Charm and, and frightened. frightened. Yeah. Can I but save you can against also, it? Also, you can make a target indifferent about any creature it is hostile towards. <laughs> that is the approach. That is. I Do guess, I roll about this at all? Are you um, hostile towards yeah, Kyle? You would crazy. be rolling if you if you if you are. If, you, if you're feeling hostile towards Savius. Yeah, I would say save. that Hope is trying okay. to quell <laughs> a little bit of hostility coming from Mister. He doesn't like you're being rolling lied a charisma to. saving throw. Uh, happily, watch this. Pow! That's right, baby! That's a three! <laughs> <laughs> You're a paladin! <laughs> I multiclassed into paladin that. after building a fighter. <laughs> um, mister, all of this hostility and tension in your shoulders just kind of melts mm. away, mm -hmm. and you're, like, able to take deep breaths. <sighs> Well, a fun... He, I turned to Skevity. He was pranking us. <laughs> <laughs> just, you are... he, he, like, just fold up the map and it's like, yeah, I don't think this is going to help. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 a, what a wild time adventuring is, huh? Boy. <laughs> All right, Thavius. Well, check this out. Mr. will take his helmet and he'll pull it over his <laughs> eyes and he will spin himself in a circle about ten times. <laughs> <laughs> Constitution saving throw. Right? Yeah, happily. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna use my other die since that first one didn't do me so well. Actually, I'm gonna take a little note on that map and say, "Get lost here." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a, I got a 15. Um, you do not fall down or throw up. Cool. Um, <laughs> whatever way, Davies is gonna watch intently. Whatever mm -hmm. way, Sir Mister, uh, lands facing, Davies will get, go. Great. Our next direction. <laughs> And I'm helping. <laughs> so the uh, and I'll read the rest of the spell because after uh, the spell lasts for a minute, and uh, when the spell ends, the creature becomes hostile again unless the DM rolls otherwise. The DM. Uh, I, I I would say that in this. Oh, case, this doesn't assume that you use all your spells against other players. Against your right. It doesn't yeah. have the genie yeah. clause at the bottom. So I guess it would be up to you, Gus, if you think that. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point, basically, the effect is just that your emotions are no longer being like held down. Yeah, I think I think I was getting hot and hope helped calm me down, and then yeah. once I'm like, once I got a new perspective, I think I'll be fine <laughs> after the minute elapses. I, well, You're I think, also leading the way now. Yeah, I think as that minute passes, Thavius will start walking next to Mister and say, uh, truly, I'm sorry. I just unfortunately, you are all very good at being very objective-based and Unfortunately, you can't be in order to find this. And while I wish I could have 
done this alone. I am. And you hear a little shake in his voice almost. You say, deeply afraid of failing this one. Oh, it's the only one that has mattered so much to me. And I need the only people I know to trust with me while I do it. Davius, that 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 means a lot to me. I'm I I'm I'm sure I won't let you down. You have some of the I mean, you were given that coin years ago and expected to do it all by yourself. And in the meantime, you've been able to pick up all these skills and learn so much about the world and and the people around it and and you have such a strong party with you now. I think I, I, I wouldn't worry so much if I were you. And and uh, although it does make sense to worry, I, I don't want you to feel bad about the fact that you're worrying about it. Of course, it's only natural to worry about things that we care about. Um, and it's okay that you lied to me, too. I've got a little secret to share with you, actually. You know, sometimes you need to deceive your way in and out of things. You know, Arthur's birthday party, you know? I said I was going to go, but I really didn't want to stay for that long. <coughs> I don't know if you knew that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hear that. Can I roll my eyes at that? Yeah. You can't roll your eyes. As you roll your eyes. You your eyes are like yeah. yellow. You can't really move your head. Just because the yellow doesn't mean I can't roll them. The, the eyes just start vibrating. <laughs> ah. um, they just roll around. So maybe this will... Plug my um, nerves. Thavius will just stop for a second, almost like mm -mm, uh, making everyone almost run into the person behind them, turn around and say, I suppose that's a good a time as any to mention. Um, I could have done this alone if it were as simple as getting lost and putting a coin down. I hope it's that simple. I did learn some things about the enemies that this soul had made. And if it comes to blows, they will not be weak. And they could be from hell. Hope, could you send another sending to Eliza real quick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I absolutely just can. You know. just let me know what you wanted to say, yes. and I'll send it right away. Okay. I am actually quite enjoying the replies that I've been getting and been quite making friends, I think. And I am, I'm quite I'm quite actually thrilled that you would like my services with this. I'm sent, sent this on. It's one of my favorite things. That's great news, Hope. Uh, here we go. <laughs> just go. Um, hello, Eliza. It's Hope again on behalf of Mr. Um... M Mister might die in the next half hour. If he does, he loves you. From Hope. There we go. I think that's good. Hope, what is your sending actually say? <laughs> no, Hope is going to send word for word exactly okay. what Mister asked. Okay. I think that um, ought to. And then we'll send a follow better. up. A follow-up sending, so I'll use two spell slots for this. <laughs> Hope you guys didn't want a cleric. I hope you guys don't actually need a cleric for Thavius this. Thavius instantly goes, I need you to be as prepared as possible. <laughs> and then our healer <laughs> spends two spell slots. Instantly. We've yeah, got yeah, Deb. Yeah. Deb can heal. Deb's got it. Deb's got it. Primary healer, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> I can heal too. I've got 15 points of lay on hands. Yeah. So true. I'll send a follow up follow up message that just says like, but I do not think that it will come to that, and I think we'll be quite fine. In fact, yo, as I've said before, Mister is quite capable, and it'll stop whenever yeah. I run out. <laughs> Cut off right about there, actually. <laughs> um, great. Uh, Eliza does respond. She responds to all of your sendings. Uh, in this case, you you sent those two close enough together that <laughs> she got your reassurance. <laughs> before she responded. Um, and she does very much appreciate the reassurance. And she hopes he doesn't die. That's about what you get back from her. You, you kind of She have wishes been. you well, and she <laughs> surely does believe in you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Hope. Love her mind. <laughs> hey, if no one dies, because uh, remove I use a third level spell. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> no higher spell slots, yes. 
It's so wild that sending yeah, a message. Oh, yeah. no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you should be It's wild that sending a message is equivalent of raising someone from the dead. <laughs> Only Do if they've been dead for a little. Planes? That's true. I haven't done a lot of interplanar me- sending messages. <laughs> I need like a lower level version of it that is for local, you know? Mm. <laughs> Exclusively uh. on this plane sending. Mm hmm. Uh, I, I lean over to Deb, and I'm just like, you know, if the enemies are from hell, I don't think it's Pete Dickerson. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I th- I thought that we, he said it was not Pete. Oh, what, um, he said he couldn't tell us. Yeah, but I think that if you'd gotten it, like, right away, I think he would have given you that one, you know? I think he would have been like, oh my god, you're right, it oh, is, and I honestly oh. can't believe you got that, but <laughs> I'm, yeah, no, I don't. I don't know who Jeez. it is. Yeah. Am I allowed to butt in, or is this a private secret conversation? No, no, I think it's fine. I think, it's fine. Uh, I, I think then I'll go, well, you know, Pete might have had any numerous amount of enemies outside of, f- what, what was it, filling the world hole? Was that it? Well, I mean, he allied himself with the hellish folk to, in order to fill the world well, maybe, hole. Maybe things have soured since then. You never know. Could be. Could be. Sometimes there are people that you think that you can trust and then you cannot trust them. And you must become the better person to rise above and in fact be the better person that you define for yourself based on your observations of the world. Exactly. Oh, do you know the tale? Do you know the tale? Hope it's you're recanting it almost word for word. <laughs> no, I, I have not. I, I've been learning that on my journey. I, I did not expect that to be such a, such a, such a worldwide to be to be to be tied to such an honorable person, even though I do not know their full story. I'm just well, I'm blessed. I'm I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so honored. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think to myself, I should plan more. Um, it's stressful <laughs> not planning as like doing how I do it. I should do what Gus does and write, write a bunch of stuff down. And then John's here. <laughs> 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 you have five canon myths. <laughs> then there's five original myths. That's so crazy. I didn't even know that. <laughs> John, if you could just provide me with like a written summary of what you've done uh, what after the stream. Just just so the wiki can, people are here so and can, have been taking Okay, notes. great. <laughs> so, Gus, I can just know, John is their problem of the five myths during this and just see if I can get you to break. Ooh. <laughs> Fun. I'd love you to, to at least leave me one myth. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're getting lost. You're all getting lost. In Counterintuitive the dark. to my magic item. <laughs> Gotta keep that put away. <laughs> um, I guess the only question is, are any of you resistant to we just have to get lost and See whatever happens. Lord, background traits. We're in too deep. Okay. Um, I had a feeling Mister would have been until I talked to him. Yeah, and if any of you are particularly against the idea of getting lost in the dark, that could cause issues, and I need to know about it now. I mean, Deb doesn't like it, but they'll. I think right now they're doing the, if all of my friends are here, it will be fine. But if I was alone in these woods, I might fall into a portal to another plane or something. I guess, who knows? Easy. I, if Deb needs it, hope we'll hold their hand again. I also yes. think after the conversation, Thavius would make a point while walking to go up to Deb and be like, well, you had to start back on it somewhere, right? Oh yeah, uh, f- yeah for sure. I just um this uh, uh you know, I think this is gonna be fine. We just should just all uh um, stick together. Deb. Yeah. To be honest, Davius will lean in close w- with like a like a like a whisper sign. I feel the safest because you're here. Oh. Well. Thanks. I'll try to live up to to that um could you spin in a circle a couple times for me okay (laughs) (laughs) we have a new direction (laughs) (laughs) Ah. um pretty shortly after that little uh reassuring conversation who's in the front me Davies. davius you see 
kind of it's it almost like it comes out from behind a tree it's really weird like you should have seen it and then you pass something and there's a little building small um dark wooden pretty plain um but it's it's there <clears throat> um Fabius will maintain the same speed and look at where clocking the building will look at the ground directly where like the building meets the ground just so that he keeps the building out of view. Okay. Um, and he will say, do not pick up speed. Do not look at the building. Follow the feet of the person in front of you. Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Goes, ah, and uh, sends himself <laughs> reeling backwards, trying to cover his own eyes from looking at the building, falls on his ass, gets back up, and then continues walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope looks like she was about to take another swig of her decanter per usual as she's one to do, but mm. she knows that it would increase her speed, so she like stops herself. <laughs> Make you start running immediately. <laughs> she doesn't want it. She won't take a risk. Um, okay. And then I would just, Thavis would just walk until his foot reaches the building. Yeah. Um. Actually, the first thing that your foot reaches, it's it's all like soft, moist earth, uh, there's no roads or paths here that you're following. It's just earth. Um, and your foot actually just catches along the edge of a smooth stone. You have to pick your foot up just a little bit. And you're walking across like a huge mosaic of stone that's been placed in front here. Um, and as you're walking along across it, can I get a nature check from anyone who cares? Of course I care. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? <laughs> Maybe it's not good in nature. Come on. I can try. That's a natural twenty. Nice. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> um, Kyle's back, baby. There he is. Charging uh, my dice at one. Uh, Fabius, you immediately recognize that. Um. What you're walking on is an expansive uh, star chart, huge maps of constellations that have been very carefully in small stone tiles uh, laid and, and set here. Um, but you're just walking across until either your foot or your head hits a wooden door. <laughs> I, I would say that, do, wait, what did, what are the, Do other people see this too? Yeah. Okay. As soon as Mr. notices that he's not walking on ground anymore, he gets terrified that he won't become lost again. And he whelps and he covers his eyes and he starts like, he gets all hunched down on the ground. He goes, where do I go? It's, oh, it's okay now. Once we have made contact, it can't leave us while we are actively here. Oh. Um, Thavius, what was the the thing back there that we the house that we couldn't look at? But that's what Thavius has just run into is the house. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry. I no, you're good. You're good. You're good. My big mimic friend. No. <laughs> he, he's shy. Doesn't like uh, eye contact. I'm definitely doing like the recording thing as I'm looking at this structure. The what? what? <laughs> Like no. an encoding? Yeah, encoding, encoding? My thought, encoding my thoughts for later. There's a little red dot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> He's getting it. It's for the hard drive. <laughs> I want to go in. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, small building made of dark wood. Uh, the door that you've run into has little like silver trim and little bits of silver filigree. Um, right up against the building here, there's like some little shrubs, some little saplings. So they're like very well-maintained and manicured uh, plant life right up along the building here. Like basically all the space between mosaic and building. It's like a little garden space. Um, how are you getting in? You, this is a door I didn't realize until I oh, said shit. it out loud, but I did just put you in front of a wooden door. Shit. Can I, can shit. I, 
Can I open the door? Yeah, it's not locked. Okay. <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> Saved us an hour, gang. Good shit. I, I see hey, the door and I did it immediately... real quick last time. Um... <laughs> but I help... immediately go to try to put bless on Sir Mister, but then I see that we've just opened the door and I'm like, oh, okay. Not no, bless, guys. No, round two, if door was locked, was going to be gesture for Mister. Of course. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good news. You can just you can just enter the building. It's fine. <laughs> um, is everybody going in? Yeah. Yeah. Great. I don't know what we're going to go inside. I don't know. What am I going to do? Come all this way and then know. turn around? We I are already look, prone to splitting up. Look at up, all the stars. You know, I just want to make sure we're all in the same spot. Um, you enter this small uh, space. And it is a small space. This place is like a living room. Um, there's a little fire going in here. There's some maybe not the most comfortable looking wooden furniture, but well made um, and sitting on a chair, uh, knitting something with like silvery blue thread is a tall man with a bluish green skin draped in like these black drapey clothes um, who looks up startled when you walk in. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, sorry, and he puts his knitting down and stands. Welcome to uh, the House of Celestian. Nice. I'll just like immediately uh, start kind of curtsying and bowing. Oh, you're, no. Baby <laughs> also bows. No, oh, fine. Mr. will bow too. See if that other people I, are. No, this is wrong. Um, um, my, I am, I'm just a, a priest. I of Celestian. I might ask you, uh, is is there an altar that I may visit? Oh, uh yes. Can I ask why? Well, I don't know that I should say too much before I do so. But I can't. It's not my place to pass judgment. On but your I, reasons for being here. I can promise you that uh, this place is a welcome site and I would not wish any harm on it. I, honestly, the fact that there is a group of you here who intended to be here is uh, very odd. We try not to get here to get here. You have to. Indeed. And and it's wonderful to see you. Can I get you? I I don't know how long you've been wandering, uh, as as they say. Can I get you anything? I have I have. Uh, there's some soup on the fire. <gasps> Do you need anything? Could have you been lost long? Could that come after? Yeah, certainly. Um, can't guarantee how long you'll be here. If it's the excuse you're me looking for what. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, save your savings. You got it. <clears throat> no, do you? Is there a concern? Uh, yes, my wife is waiting on me at home. Did you lose your wife? No, I'm the one that's lost. Clearly. Well, most people, most people who come here are looking for something they've lost. Oh no, I know where my wife is. You were at least I'm for... almost positive. <laughs> that's that's actually that's so reassuring. I hear that so rarely. <laughs> There is. I mean, wow. In, in my I case, love there, a little bit of certainty. Yeah. Although in I suppose case, I've oh, lost everything. A weird place to be if you do love certainty. Oh. Well, I'm here. If I'm, if you don't know where you are, you've lost everything that has you a location. Know where you are. It's at the House of Celestian. So my wife a is a House of this, Celestian. Okay. In this case, um, I have something that was lost that I'm returning. To Celestian. To Celestian. All right. Well, uh, not everyone gets to just walk into the altar. The thing about Celestian is that he collects a lot of lost things, and we don't want someone with the wrong intentions to accidentally get closer than they should be. He's a little bit too um, welcome for his own good, welcoming for his own good sometimes. What do you need from me? 
There's a little bit of a test. I can do that. Uh, anyone who intends to get to the altar would have to succeed. Do, uh, do, do you not trust me? It's not about <laughs> who I trust. <laughs> it's about proving that you can get just that one step closer. So it's a challenge. Sure. We could call it a challenge. I accept. (laughs) (laughs) Do you all accept my humble challenge? Yes. And uh, one moment. Hmm. Uh, Thavius is going to make it so that we can all talk to each other in our brains. Nice. For... Let's do it. <laughs> ten hours, ten hours, ten hours. What? Four. <laughs> math, 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 math. It's not Six math. Hours. It's just looking at a D10. Six hours. <laughs> Great. Amazing. Um, you can do that. This uh, Triton man kind of straightens his robes and uh, pads over to... Uh, there's another door in this room. Uh, which is a little weird because based on from the outside, this one room should be the whole building. A little tiny place. But there's another door in here. Again, kind of silver trim, silver filigree. Um, and he walks over to it and puts his hand on the handle. Now, once you uh, go through this door, you each are going to have a, a task. It's the same task, but you each must do uh, your own. You have to find something you've lost and he- reclaim it as yours. Here? Here. Okay. <laughs> um, I will warn you, you must only reclaim something you have lost. And what happens if we reclaim something else? Well, you won't be getting to the altar. I suppose this is the final step. Can I just do a divine sense real quick? See if this guy's all <laughs> fucked up or something like that. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, just I'm just gonna listen. The, I get two a day. That, the way that my brain is like. But what if he's a devil? But what if he's a devil? It's just like it's just what like if? a weird. There's just there's just like I know that like you know people like to be cute and cryptic and stuff. But I mean you gotta you yeah. got you gotta have my abilities for a reason. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, divine sense. This is a um, consecrated place. This is holy ground Great. you're standing upon. Check. Um, and there is Tracks. no fiends, no undead. Okay. No fey. I think is another one you get. From Celestials. That. Fe- yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no celestials here. Okay, okay. I I take I I great. Um, do you have any other questions? Yeah, do we die if we mess up? No. Great. Do we ever do we ever get home if we mess up? Ooh, well, better not question. If you're holding Davis. something that's not yours. Oh, so we can just let it go and it'll be fine. If you lose it again. Great, I can do that. No problem. What if uh, we don't we don't have anything that we lost here? Second that Kaya second that question. I think you'll be able to find something. You know, I mentioned I'm... that the god is a little bit of a collector, a little bit of a The God's been stealing from me? Is it stealing if you've lost it? I don't know how this works. <laughs> Why is it here? Why didn't he give it back? He doesn't know where you are. As they're as they're deliberating, can I like just start looking in corners and like under like chairs and stuff? <laughs> in this room you're <laughs> currently in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here, like, yeah, he didn't uh, say here. <laughs> they didn't say here, but they said yeah. here. So like Roll investigation, know. Skev. <laughs> Please just I want Skev to find it like this. <laughs> under oh, a wooden chair. Please hold on. Investigation, you say? I did say. Uh, that was 22 suit you. <laughs> Ooh. What you going to do about that, Haley? 
Yeah. What are you going to do about this 22? <laughs> you gave John a table. What did you expect? <laughs> Ailey, it's a 22. On the table. <laughs> um, Give me a table and I can move the world. <laughs> you can fill the world whole. That's right. Uh, 70, you find a loose floorboard. Oh. That, uh, comes up and beneath it are just like uh pouches of copper pieces oh funny oh, i found stuff <laughs> oh put that down okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is that not that's did you lose that i was gonna look at it first but you told me to put it down <laughs> it's mine oh i didn't lose it well then so. okay <laughs> So I don't think it was yours. Do you guys have any other questions? How do we begin? Knock at the door. Do we do it at the same time or one by one? You can all go in at the same time. Um, I, I guess you could stay together the whole time if you'd like. You'll just have quite a bit of ground to cover. I don't Are know you ready? what that means. I guess. Uh, and he swings open the door. It looks dark. Oh boy. That's definitely not outside, and it just looks dark. I think I'm there. I will. <laughs> You're really already in quickly. it. Great. Right. <laughs> it was gone. I, I'll really, hope we'll really quickly turn to Deb um, because I feel like Deb was uneasy when we were getting lost in the in the forest and kind of like, I don't know, Pax, do they look nervous? Do they look like they're, they're like, this is something that they can handle, or is this in that same vein of this is uncomfy? I think that they look much more panicked than they did in the forest. More honestly. panicked. Um, yeah. Okay, then I will. I'll, I hope we'll really quickly come to Deb, and because I imagine they're still holding hands, because we established that they were holding hands for comfort. Um, I hope we'll just be like, uh, we we will we will be a pop, but I but I assure you, we will come back together, and we will all be all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that this is going to go great, and we need to do this for the person that we don't know. But for, for Thavius, is the more important part uh, is that they, Thavius. Yeah. Okay. Um, no. Yeah. Let's go. Do it for Pete. Will... Deb. Do it for Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will hand. I will. I will hand off Deb uh, uh, some of my decanter to help relieve any uh what is it is it does it, it it's not it's not it's like it does cure the frightened condition i think but it also just increases like, your speed by five as well correct yeah it increases hey, your hope, speed by five, five gives you five temp, temp hp but it also like in the flavor of it it notably like gives you a little bit of bravery a little pep in your step hope mind pep. if i take a swig oh 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 yes of course and hurt, I'll just kind of, right thank yeah. you and then i will also how many uh, temp hp five thank you um and plus five to speed correct yes yay no my speed it's isn't five D and beyond <laughs> <laughs> shoot uh baby's already gone yeah. and then i will also uh, while i'm passing oh. around oh oh skip and D, do you want any you can uh, also have some. no no i'm i'm fine oh, all, all, all right <laughs> um and then i'll also i don't have any points of inspiration that i can gift up but I'm going to give to, I'm just going to cast guidance on Dev. Um, so you can add whatever it is, a D4 to, if you have to make any checks. <laughs> Making sure that our, our bard is going to be okay on those skip checks. <laughs> <laughs> would hate for something to happen. Would hate, would hate for it. Oh, um, hmm? um, sh- nah. Sorry, I was going to cast okay. a spell, but it's short, so it wouldn't be that helpful. Okay. Going through the door? Uh, yeah. Everybody? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. Um, when you step through the door, your foot doesn't hit ground where you want it to. It's a, it's that sensation of missing uh, a stair. Like, you accidentally take two steps instead of one. We and lose you just the stair. Fall. Yeah, <laughs> you lost the stair. No. <laughs> Did we I lose our footing? Yeah. 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 Are you losing your mind? Oh. Yeah. Haley, are you losing patience with us? Oh. 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 
Uh, oh, I lost the game. You do this little ah! stumble catch. Though. <laughs> Bailey, can I not catch myself? Yeah, you can fall on your face. That's fine. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I I offer seventy some of my drink. He's like, I'm fine. It just falls. <laughs> yeah, you all you all Rum. step through, step catch yourself a little bit, and then you just hear clang 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 clang. Ah. <laughs> Help me up. Found seventy. Ah, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Um, it is not dark anymore. Nice. It is, in fact, very well lit in the space you have found yourself. And it's also goddamn huge. This space is ginormous. And there are glass cases as far as the eye can see. All full of random ass shit. <laughs> the ones close to you, you can see are like, some of them are just like pages from books or like handwritten. There's like a full diary over there. There's like a little small set of like orange robes in one of those. One of the ones a little bit that way, there's like a two foot long, like white feather with little like gray speckles on it. They, there's so much random fucking garbage in this space. And all of them have little white uh, like nameplates. But when you look at them, they're all, um, think, of, think of them as like censored. Like your eyes can't focus on them and read the names, presumably, because that is not one of the things you have lost. Yes. Are we allowed to look at the stuff? Yes. Great. Uh, as Mister takes off, <laughs> he wants to see Mr. it all. Mister starts running. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> What's everybody else doing? Uh, I wish I had prepared locate object. <laughs> Oh, that would have been oh, sweet. That would have been kind of nice. <laughs> for, though. Yeah, you don't know hmm? what you're looking for. Just, just start shotgun guessing. Look, or? I would look for my name tag. <laughs> that that would be good. Smart, smart. I guess I guess I'm just like walking up to the closest mass and just kind of just picking up stuff. And... <laughs> just looking. You gotta start around. somewhere, you know. Yeah, hundred yeah, uh, percent. Does is anyone doing anything that isn't just looking i'm looking Maybe as quickly and as much as i can <laughs> um i think upon the whole it's a test thing and also we're just here davies is gonna sit down okay. <clears throat> um he's gonna close his eyes <clears throat> and uh, th this might be nothing Instead of investigating with my eyes, he's gonna concentrate. This isn't like a skill I have, but like, yeah. and see if I can like sense sure. the direction <laughs> I'm supposed to go. Is that sure. what is? Do you, is it like a religion? I was about to ask for a religion check, actually. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I can hey, Savius. Yeah. You can make that with advantage. Okay. Because of um, you know, there's actually something in your pocket that would really help you out in this specific situation okay um <clears throat> i got a 19 pretty good okay. um Savius, you sit and you focus and then there's just the slightest pull like you can feel it almost like a like a string from like the center of you just kind of tug for a second in a in one specific direction with the uh reflexes of a rogue i'm going to immediately unnecessarily like somersault sure. uh in that direction <laughs> and then spring to my feet and run that way okay davius is also running um God, everybody else efficient in religion nice <laughs> Um, anything else you guys are doing other than just looking? Because if you're just looking, we're going to start rolling checks. Checks for what? Investigation. To try to... Okay. 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 I'm not looking for my <laughs> thing yet. I just want you to know that. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're not looking I, for your I, thing. I would first. love to know if it's all right. Uh, and I, what, like, I would love to know like what the coolest thing that I can find is. The coolest thing you can find? I would love just something really cool. Yeah, you roll investigation for the coolest thing you can find. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. 
Yeah. Um, Hope, Skev, Debs, are you looking for your guys' thing? Right. So you can just roll investigation to find your thing. Uh, Dave, you can roll investigation with advantage since you got that good religion check. Deb is not. What's Deb doing? Deb is wandering around very slowly looking at all of these objects and just kind of going like, okay, so they're all like physical items. So it's probably just like, I, I don't know. I lost Phoebe's like really good rolling pin when I first started at the bakery and she always said she wasn't mad, but I know, I know like it's not, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty special. So yeah, I, Deb is going to start concentrating <laughs> on a rolling pin. Stuff. Um, Great. Love that Deb's looking for a rolling. Do you want to roll investigation for a rolling pin? Absolutely. Great. Um, Mister, what did you get for a cool thing? 19. 19. You take off. Booking it. Absolutely. I, my head is going back and forth and back and forth and <laughs> back and forth. Yeah. Uh, and you, out of the corner of your eye, see something crazy shiny and just like skid to a halt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> You have to like backtrack. Um, there is some sort of like crystal, probably two times the size of your head sitting in one of these cases. Um, it's like a beautiful yellowy orange. Uh, it glints almost like blue in parts of the lighting. Mm. Uh, it's massive and you for a second like how did someone lose that because it's huge and sparkly and shiny and it's probably worth more than your life worth more than your uh, what you and your wife's life together anybody here other than maybe hope's life that yeah i was gonna say that's not that much money (laughs) um uh uh, these things are all in glass cases right so i can't touch stuff like a really bad museum (laughs) so i can't really it's not easily touchable i don't know you're trying to touch the glass yeah oh yeah (laughs) you you touch the glass glass? yeah i yeah i think i'm just like you know like uh (laughs) yeah like a child at a zoo yeah looking at bears yeah (laughs) you do that to the glass and you feel a, a give like you feel the glass move um, like it is not fully affixed to what it is sitting on. Oh, so wait, so like I could pick it up, or you could it... pick up the glass and get to what? I just want to get. I just, I just want to get close to the cool, fun crystal you just described. <laughs> that sounds so fun and cool and expensive. It is. It's all of those things. So I want to take the glass off. Okay, you take the glass off. I want to get really, really close to the crystal. <laughs> you can see your face in it. It's like reflected. Do I look good? You look great. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. I think I just want to see what it feels like. Okay. Just want to touch it. Just want to touch it. It's it's very cool to the touch. Whoa. <laughs> and then I want to put the glass case back and go find something else cool. <laughs> okay, this is going on a little adventure all by himself. <laughs> what did the rest of you roll for your investigation? <laughs> um, can I do something instead of roll investigation? Yeah, what did you want to do, hon? Okay, question for, for the D&D crowd. Clerics ritual cast? And they can some things. Yeah, if, if it, it says, says ritual, it's a, then yeah, you if it can says ritual, ritual cast. I think Hope's gonna say a 10 minute prayer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to what um, end, Hope? Well, so I would like to, I'm, cast, I'm ritual casting a fifth level spell. Okay. Nice. Wow. Um, How is that allowed? D and D is wild. <laughs> uh, called commune. Okay. And I was wondering. It says I can contact my deity or a divine proxy. Does that still mean I have to talk to Blore, or can I talk to whoever this divine? Divine proxy is such a wild phrase that Fries. means nothing. I think it means someone who's uh, speaking on Pelor's behalf is what. Okay, I so I have to ask speaking on Pelor's behalf. But you are currently. In a demiplane I'm, owned by a different god. I'm going to attempt to talk to the god here. Yeah, okay. And like, <laughs> and I just want to be like, so I can ask, uh, what? I can ask three, up to three questions that have to be yes or no questions. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I just want Love to, that. And I just want to say. Ask about Pete. And I just want to be like, 
this is such a lovely place. I'll spend like 10 minutes complimenting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you just like sitting yeah. somewhere doing Yeah, this? I just like yep. sat my hoop skirt down and kind mm-hmm. of just like sat and just started praying. And like, that's like Pope's version of ritual casting is just a 10 minute long prayer. Yeah. And I think she's just like, I was wondering, and I am here on behalf of looking for something. I was wondering if I must go this way to go look for it. And I'll just point directly in front of me. Are you basically just asking yes or no questions in three different directions? (laughs) That's very funny. Uh, You do that. You point forward and you just hear, no. (laughs) Well, and I will, if it's not too much, I would wonder if perhaps it would be possibly over in the direction that is off to this side. (laughs) No. All right. Well, I was so that is that is all quite now quite thankful for your help so far. But if it is not too much trouble, I was wondering if you perhaps be over off to this side. <laughs> yes, hope love. Oh you. well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. And might I quite add again that this has been a lovely place, and you have so many wonderful things here. And I think what you do is quite lovely, giving peaceful places to be when they're in the middle of things. I've been on quite a journey myself recently, and I feel like just finding someone who can be there in the middle. Presence of the wanderer is so important. So thank you so much. And I might talk to you again. And I do hope that you can help all of our friends as necessary and as you see fit, as in your divine and perfect sense of how you see <laughs> <Right. laughs> uh, I hope you have a direction so that you can roll your, an investigation with advantage. Great. <laughs> really, really big. But um, Skev and Savius. And I guess Deb, what did you guys throw? Uh, I got a, I got a twenty-six. Whoa! I love that for you. Uh, I love that for you, little wizard boy. I love it, wizard boy. Seventy-three. This is such a massive place. It's almost like a library if it had never seen an archivist in its life. Mm. Like, there's no organizational mm. system here. It's like You're when like, I showed up to the library. It's like. Yeah, it's your library if it was just up to Aura. Yeah, I've seen uh, it. Nightmare scenario. Uh, you find uh, a case with your name on it. It's the only nameplate you've seen oh. that isn't like uncomfortable to look at, redacted, censored. And it just says in very clear print, SK-73. Oh. Uh, and sitting directly in the middle is... Uh, slightly warped a little bit rusty piece of metal that looks like it would fit just beautifully on the bottom half of your goddamn face <laughs> oh. <laughs> i did lose this okay <laughs> did he lose it splunking <laughs> What would you Hopefully like to do with, <laughs> with this jaw in a case, sir? Um, did you say, I, I might have missed that. Did you say it looks like the same as it did when it fell off or does it look better? It, it looks like how you remember it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah, I take it out of the case and I'm just like, folks, I found my thing. I just kind of like yell it out. <laughs> well done. Um, kind of like spinning it around my finger, you know? <laughs> Goes flying off, appears back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stephanie, can I get a real quick intelligence check from you? Sure. The wizard? Yeah, the wizard. I need to put this dice away because it's just rolling too nice. <laughs> Can't um, it. That's not how you like it. No, you don't want that. No, uh, I'm yeah, aware. I got a 24. Wow. Um, you recall the Triton Man priest guy? said you have to find and reclaim the item you can't just find it you have to like claim it as your own again mm, okay yeah so so i guess upon remembering this i i i just kind of you know i mean i also had a curiosity because why wouldn't you i just kind of be like you know this thing still does it still kind of hook up the way it does not Thinking only does it that. hook up the way you remember it it like fits and slots perfectly back into like too easily. Oh, like, I didn't magnetize. Look at that. <laughs> oh, those people yelling at me. I could have just, look at that. 
I don't need anyone about that. I have a very important question. What do you do with the paper plate? I was just about to. <laughs> I put it back on over my mouth. Okay, this is what I thought you were going to do. <laughs> oh, wrong. <laughs> Ebony Theory has found and reclaimed his lost item. Still managed to look horrifying with the paper plate mouth. Um, that's where we're going to take a quick five to seven minute break. Five and to we'll seven minutes. We'll come back minutes. to find everybody else's thing. Not if I have anything to say about it. See everyone in, oh, okay. <laughs> see everyone in five to seven minutes. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Hi, we're back. We're back, everybody. Whoa. We're here well, and we're back. Don't miss us. Um, Be honest. What was the question, Jenny? Did they miss us? Oh, that's, yeah. So everyone, and then she asked let, them to please be honest. Yes. Please be Honestly, honest. Honestly, let us know if you missed us while Haley and I uh, talk shop for two seconds. Oh, I'd love to talk shop with you. Uh, great. How's the shop, Haley? It's fine. Do I you be shopping? Probably, I do be shopping. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I do, in oh, fact, be shopping. Show. Uh, <laughs> what? What are we talking about? The, uh, the, uh, we, Patreon. Yes, we're, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if you know about this, but Unprepared Casters has a Patreon. Um, I did. And I uh, some live streams we do at the end of arcs because we love to do them. That's what this one is. And some mm -hmm. live streams we do when we hit particular uh, Patreon goals. Um, and, uh, if you, uh, subscribe to us on Patreon, you would know the announcement we just made about our upcoming Patreon goal. Haley, would you like to talk about it or should I keep yeah. talking? Yeah, no, I'll do it. Do our it. Patreon goal is at 5,500, um, which we will of course use to continue making the show better because we love doing that for you. Um, it's never good and enough. at that goal, <laughs> never gotta be better. At that goal, we will be uh, doing a big old Unprepared Casters Battle Royale with a bunch of characters from all the arcs, making them all fight to the death. Uh, that's what you guys wanted, right? Just <laughs> no <laughs> one requested this at any point. <laughs> Haley and I were More just enough. like, that would be fun, we just wouldn't thought it? <laughs> it'd be fun to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we recently um, decided that we would love for that live stream to double as our first charity live stream. Um, just as a chance to take the support you guys are giving us and give back a little bit. The charity that we chose was Trans Lifeline. They do really great work. If you want to check them out, they run the Trans Lifeline hotline. They give out a lot of micro grants to um, people seeking legal name changes and also to give necessities to um, trans incarcerated populations who are, of course, incarcerated at wild proportions, especially um, BIPOC, trans folks. It's, you know, they do a lot of really great work. Check them out. Uh, and we will be running that when we get to 5,500. Well, not right as soon as we get there. Yeah, we, just we got <laughs> to make sure we hit it, plan it, schedule it, all that good, good mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, figure out how to run a charity live stream because we've never done that before. But, but we uh, know people who have. We're very so excited to do it. It'll go well. Um, and uh, also, when the charity live stream happens, we've can we can we say – we just said that on Patreon. Should we say that here, Haley? I'm sorry. I should have – What are we saying? The matching thing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh. 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 UC is gonna match a thousand dollars of donations once once the live stream happens. So we're very very excited to make this happen. Um. Uh. So uh, we just gotta hit that goal first. Um. Because that's that's the deal that we set like eight months ago when we set this <laughs> well, Patreon we were goal. Setting a bunch of goals. Um. Uh, so that's patreoncom slash Casters. Links right below. Haley. Uh. Go check us out. Um. Uh, uh, Haley, do you just want to go ahead and say what you're going to put on the Patreon? Yeah, you just say yeah, what I'm going to put on the Patreon. It. Yeah. You'll all, if you're a patron, you'll get the email at about 1030. I just scheduled it. Um, I have, in fact, written all five of Lathe's Night Rim's final letters and recorded myself reading them out loud in a silly, sad little Lathe voice. Mm -hmm. um, so for the next five days, uh, every day, we will be handing you one of them. Um, and that's at any tier, two dollars and any above. Tier, yeah, I just gotta hop on the Patreon. You gotta be on it. Uh, the I audio unmastered, no background, <laughs> yeah. but it's yours. It's just Haley like and it. a microphone. It's an it's intimate just me experience. And a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give it to the editor. I just went here. Some of them took like five takes because my mic kept fucking up. Oh it no! Really cool. It was fun. Um, but I have been working on those letters for a while. Like, two months. <laughs> yeah, quite some time. Workshopping. 
Um, but they are done. And tonight's, uh, you get the Yarmids first. So that's the Makes one sense. you're going to be getting today. Um, You'll never guess who's you're getting last. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never guess. All right. Does that does that does that cover the shop, Haley? Anyone else having a shop? I don't know. If anyone's <laughs> confused about our upcoming schedule, winter summer school, the one shot we did with Zach Oyama is posting a week from today on our regular podcast feed and YouTube, and then the week after that, Arc Eight starts. If you haven't heard the Arc Eight trailer, it's on your regular podcast feed, Twitter, and Instagram. People have been enjoying it. Yeah. Great. Good. Did it. John, did you have shop to do? Yeah, I have. Uh, I I, uh, I sent the I sent the legend of Pete Diggerson to the both of you. Yep, I got it, read it, and <laughs> yes, loved it. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Great. Do will. I I will do with it what I will. This is the thing about me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I will be doing what I'm doing. Uh, great. Do we want to get back into the Dungeons Dragons we were just doing? Unless Kyle, Jenny, or Pax has shop Have to any talk. Shop? You yeah. guys got shop? You guys got shop? All right, ready? I've got one. I got one solid shop. Ready? All right. Tell me about it. Lowe's. Shop. Oh, nice. <laughs> we went in different um, Kyle directions harmonized? there. Kyle I, harmonized? I could actually. Shop. Um, I could actually. That's a bad <laughs> harmony. It was just one note down. Um, I liked it. I uh, Someone asked about the uh, secret letter that Thavius wrote. Hmm. in the chat hmm. um <clears throat> yes i'm gonna write it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna record it in my voice yeah <laughs> maybe we'll put that after uh all of the laid ones nice to not break up the continuity of it all you know the story that i'm telling in all of this man's <laughs> last words to his family <laughs> all right one shot <laughs> one shot woo, woo! Fun times oh you all moved around in place on my zoom screen i can't uh-oh are we Dominic all good on the yeah before. we're all good on this <laughs> screen okay okay kevin he found his jaw it's back on his face he continues to put a paper plate there specifically to be a menace oh it looks <laughs> nice it doesn't and <laughs> I you just assaulted a man's paper plate. I would say that it does look it nice, actually. Thank you. Mm, that's the bowl. Paper plates are the height of luxury. I don't know how they many times we have to dance around this. They are. It's no, very every big banquet has them, but it's does the Met Gala have paper plates? You think? Gotta. I, I have not been keeping up with Met Gala since we started this one shot. It's really actually. I'm glad been, you uh, haven't been a, keeping up with it since we started a large the one shot. Show of restraint for me. <laughs> 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 I need you to understand. Uh-huh. I still to figure out who wore jeans. People keep saying someone If wore it's jeans. an event that someone wears jeans to, is it really worth keeping up with? Cut! <laughs> <laughs> the fact that someone wore jeans to the Met Gala. I'm horrified. I want them escorted out. Does anything security. about this event make you happy? Yes. Blake Lively looked wonderful. Okay, just check it. <laughs> you know, Haley, the, now that someone's worn jeans, <laughs> they're all going to start doing it. No. You know, what the other thing is? you know what the other thing is? What? People didn't even wear jeans last year. And last year, the was theme jeans? was literally was the theme history jeans? of American fashion. And like oh. two bitches showed up in denim. What the so fuck? It's already, so it's already- Why was there not more denim last year? This year for gilded glamour, we're showing up in jeans. I'll kill everybody. I cast calm emotion. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but do they wear jeans to bed? Asks Chad. Hey! <laughs> yes, I do. Fight me. <laughs> oh. Out of here. Oh my god. He's doing a one shot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Kevin, he's wearing a paper plate. Yeah. It looks Great. like we've lost the plot. Huh? Hey! Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. Okay. Kevin, he crossed off the lip. Uh, you can do whatever you want now. You did your task. Uh, I'm just looking at stuff now. Yeah. Okay, he's fine. That's fine. Um, Thavius and Hope each got to roll at advantage to find like their actual thing. So if either one of you wants to hit me with the roll you got, whoever wants to go first, I don't care. This is cute. They're going to shoot each other and die. 
Ah, uh, Ginny goes <laughs> first. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Awkward. Um, you go I, first. All right, I'll go first. I killed Kyle, so. Yeah. All right, well, I rolled a nine, but then I got advantage and I rolled an 18, which okay. brings my total up to a 19. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> hope you end up wandering this place for a while. Keep doing a lot of things. Um, and it's, it's a little weird because every piece of like, Finery probably catches your eyes for a second of something that looks vaguely familiar. Uh, but it just because like a lot of jewelry looks the same. And you've seen a lot of jewelry in your time. You've lost a lot of jewelry in your time. Um, but eventually, one that you catch uh, has an unredacted nameplate. It says Hope Lovejoy right on it. Oh, wonderful. I was so, I was so worried. Uh, and what you see sitting in the center of this case is a beautiful, ostentatious uh, necklace. It's uh, got gems all across it. It's green and yellow gems set into gold plating. It's huge. Um, hope this was a gift that you got over a hundred years ago now uh, to mark your official uh, coming of age when you reached a hundred years old. This was a gift from your mother. You sent it off to get cleaned a few decades ago uh, and you hadn't seen it since. And here it is sitting in a glass case. Hmm. <laughs> well, it, it was always a bit heavy, I suppose. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'll go out and, and kind of grab it out of the cage. Yeah, um, you have to kind of move the glass out of the way. And move the glass out of the way. I look like I'm afraid it's going to, like, shock me. <laughs> um, does it shock me? It does not. Okay. <laughs> it's, just, it's cool and familiar. Um, and I will... I'll just kind of... I'll just kind of clasp it in my hands, I think. I think that, like... Hope might kind of go to like put it on, but like maybe, but like doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'll just kind of settle with like just kind of holding on to it and see if that works. <laughs> um, you have found your item, mm -hmm. but you know you're missing something. Can Mister happen upon this? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a luck check before we got to CD twenty. Yeah, totally. Eight. Did you actually roll an eight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you find hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mister. <laughs> oh, what you got there, Hope? Oh, uh, oh hello, Mister. How are you doing? How I'm are you doing great. Yes, are you having any luck doing here? I was looking all, all over luck? the place. I, 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 well, uh, you know, it's always a little bit of both. <laughs> luck, I'm, I'm a little confused. Luck are you with... finding, fi finding your, your, your missing oh, thing? Oh, shit. No, yeah, I'll get to that. What do you, what did you, is that yours? Yes, I'm good. <laughs> now can I incite hope? <laughs> Yeah, no, you can. All right. Hope deception. Okay, hope, I thought right. we we moved past this. <laughs> no. Oh, what does Listen, Mr. Have to insight? It's Hold not on. a switch, you know? Yeah, One of those I, know, is not I, know switch. I know, I know, I know, I know. I got you. Eh, it's not bad. What'd you get? I did not get very bad either. Oh, shit. Did you beat a 17? I got exactly a 17. Ooh, roll off, roll off, roll off. Uh, okay, I'll use my other die for this one. Mix it up. That's what it was. It's a die. That's no, it was. that was worse. <laughs> what you get? Why are you so thrilled about continuing <laughs> to have Hope bottle things up? Uh, I'm not. Listen, I was role playing. You brought the, the dice into you're... it. 
I got a 13 on that one. I got a 12. Okay. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Stuck with hope. Hope is upset. Um, uh, okay. I think, Mr. Since their conversation from but a f- few days ago, right? Um, mm-hmm. It's still fresh. He'll just look up and go, Gift from your mom. I'll pull it out. You know, now I look at it, I think it looks kind of gaudy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of, well, um, it makes sense for, you know, you you want to have the, the most lavish whatever as, as a love joy. But I don't know, we've talked a little bit about uh, about how you feel about that. Well, let, let, let me let me let me float something by you here, Hope. And I don't know if you heard the conversation I was having with Thavius earlier, um, but you know sometimes lying is good. <laughs> yeah. I haven't put much thought into it. You ever, you ever, <laughs> I don't really think about even the possibility of it. If I'm going to be honest, we we've just got to get through. You know, this temple, help Thavius out. I don't think Celestian knows about, like, what you've got going on, your whole deal. It's kind of rude, I would say, to, like, ask you to, like, accept a gift that you might not want anymore. So, oh, I don't know. You ever lied to a god before? <laughs> I was just talking to this deity, and I was quite enjoying my conversation, although they were really only replying in yes and no. But I did uh, quite enjoy the time that I had, and I, I suppose I would not want them to think that I was displeased with my journey mm. here. Perhaps it might be of utmost, uh, it would be of the utmost kindness of me to show appreciation. I suppose, although <laughs> let me let, let me float this alternate theory by you. I've been trying out yeah. thinking lately. <laughs> um, uh, you got a uh, we've got to claim these things as our own, right? Ah, uh, yes. S- so if a gift, if you get a gift and you can claim it as your own, that means you can do whatever you want with it, right? I, su- I suppose, I suppose, yes. So would it not still be claiming the gift to, like, chuck it in the trash? Just be like, yeah, this is mine, and I don't want it. <laughs> There's not a rule book. I don't know. It's, it's, I, I think it might take accepting that it's yours in order to get rid of it. Maybe that, maybe that'll help please, please the star God. If I am honest, I, I am worried about that not working and then not being able to undo that because I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want this to not work out on behalf of the, of the, of the Pete. Yeah. We really do got to get Pete where he needs to go. <laughs> um, but... I mean, but I, but I, but I agree that that it, if it is mine, then I might do whatever I would like with it, and I would like to, I would like to laugh at it, and I shall. Can I join you? Yes. Okay. Let's take turns. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's not your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that got me. <laughs> Gus you, was so serious. You go first. <laughs> it's very good. May I? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! It's ugly. <laughs> yes, I. Huh. I was no adult when I got this. I knew nothing. I had not left my house at this time. What a silly little gesture. A gift for a child. A gift for a child. You're not a child. I'm no child anymore. <laughs> Silly. 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 I shall. I shall wear it as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's even funnier. Ha ha. fell down. Oh yeah, I fell down again. Oh, seventy. Seventy. No. <laughs> That jaw, that piece of jaw is the only thing not broken. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> 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 
dice. I use only metal dice. No, that's fair. <laughs> metal dice. <laughs> Boy. Oh, Blevjoy, you have found and reclaimed your lost uh, possession. <laughs> Papius, what'd you get, hon? Um, ugh, I got... Uh, my boy got a dirty 20. Nice. Um, considering that I'm assuming, based on other roles, that this would eventually be considered a success. Mm -hmm. Can I do something for theming? Yeah, hon, what do you want to do? Can we consider it taking more than five minutes? Thavi is considering it a fail. And I would like to use a psychic dice to make my actual check even bigger. Yeah, honey, go for it. Okay, so it's a 27 instead. Oh, you find it so and fast after that, babe. It's right there. The, my <laughs> thought behind that is after a minute, I sort of focus on where he sort of has this idea and thinks if this was something that might have been important to me once, there's probably a small piece of my soul still attached to it hmm. and sort of use that as like a radar um, extending my blade outwards and letting it sort of ping to me where I need to go. Yeah, 100%. You, that's uh, weird to imagine you just kind of leaving bits of soul on things, but I guess that tracks for how you go about the world. <laughs> uh, yes, Thavius, you find, you know, nestled between all of these other thousands, potentially millions of glass cases, um, a nameplate that does not hurt to look at, um, that just says Thavius. And then uh, almost as though like penciled in next to it, it's not in the same proud font is uh, Sunbloom. As though it has only made its way there recently. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, and yeah, sitting in this case is actually uh, something very simple. It's barely more than just uh, carefully chosen beads on a string. Um, that you would know uh, to be a necklace. This is something that you did lose and did upset you to lose uh, about a year ago. Uh, if you would like to tell the story behind it, because you wrote up the whole story behind it, I would let you. Otherwise, I'll keep talking. Yeah, that's fine. Um, right after the party split ways, probably the uh, little quest he went on directly after saving his wife um, when he was probably still level four or five, he overestimated his own abilities and got dangerously, almost mortally wounded saving a young girl. She was about 10 years old. Um, he decided at that point that adventuring was not cut out for him without the group and that he was just going to bring the coin back and go home. Um, and the only thing that stopped him was the girl he saved who made him a very simple bead necklace and told him that she would be cheering for him through it every day. He wore it every day until he took down the Guild of Assassins in Tile in which as he struck the finishing blow, the leader's knife caught on his necklace trying to aim for his neck, actually saving him um, and it ripped it off his neck and it skittered down a drain into the sewers <gasps> and he searched for hours but never found it until this moment um and you remember it getting cut like the cord was severed mm -hmm. um and looking at it once you remove the the glass it's actually been tied back together in a little knot uh and and that is that is how it is sitting for you um he's just kind of like gently put his hand on the glass um i'm give it i'm gonna give it the the, the good old anime single tear <laughs> <laughs> um haven't any other context oh no <laughs> no nobody cries outside of anime. yeah um, <laughs> so you know how in anime they cry <laughs> you know? uh, i always Think of it very much as like a CW leading man. Yeah. <laughs> they get the one tier. Uh, um, sort of to himself, they 
this is the reason I am who I am. And would like to grab it. Mm -hmm. Um, He wasn't ready. He sort of trembles a little bit uh, with it in his hand. Uh, And I think there's a long time where he pauses to look at it, feeling himself unworthy of it because he lost it um, before he sort of writes himself and undoes the little knot. And then does it once again he's like not super he has to like turn it around and like <laughs> yeah uh, like <laughs> not good at it to the front but refastens it to his around his neck can i ask what color the beads are uh yes there are three colors they are orange teal and yellow yes good scheme that's very it's the cute. ones she had left <laughs> <laughs> Your necklace of these child's three least favorite colors. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, Has been found and properly reclaimed and refastened to yourself. Uh, baby, check. Um, Mr. You and Hope just had this whole uh, moment and ordeal of laughing at a necklace. Ha ha! And you... You turn over your shoulder and your eyes immediately land on a nameplate that says Mr. Person.
Um, Writing for it. Yeah, uh, it just says book, gear, adventuring gear, five pound book. That's perfect. <laughs> Five pound book. It's an encyclopedia of the natural world. Nice. Flower hole fitting great. Yeah. Five pound book. Five yeah, you want, pound you want, book. You want, you want to end this? Can we please get five yeah, pound could, book could, in the could, chat? Could, <laughs> could, could, you, could, you, could you just pass? Could you just pass the book? Yeah, the thing's like completely empty. So I mean, like, yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. Uh, Mister, we'll take the book from Scavendy. Uh, uh, put the flower in the middle, slam it shut, and then hug the book to his chest like this. What? So, do you mind if the... I just hold on to this for a while? I, I mean, I guess it didn't. It was just pages in a bind in a binder. But like, what? What? I, okay. I, I. Found... That's not usually what books are for. Some books do that. Um. Well, any book can do it. I think right. you just need to close. You'd be able to open and close it. Some some are more predisposed yeah. this, to do. It. Yeah. You know what I have in my arms here? What I have, uh, I have a ticket here. It's like a book. N well, what? Um, <laughs> it, when I when I if I don't die when the hell monsters show up, and uh -huh. if I am able to get home to my wife eliza person sure uh, and I, if i still have this flower it does not matter how long i was gone from home it just won't it just won't matter <laughs> oh it doesn't matter i don't understand what you mean by this <laughs> i just all you need to know is that it's very important that i have that i keep this flower safe and is it the book is it coming. is it okay that it's flat oh, well it's been flat for a, for a, i mean the flower is already flat Oh, it's a flat flower. It's a flat. Oh, yes, it's a flat flower. It was pre-pressed. Pre-pressed. Oh, pre -pressed I, petals. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't just break a flower in front of you. Yeah, I want that. No, I would hope you would break a flower. Just bust down a flower in front of me? No. They can be quite fragile. I hope you understand. Um, this is this is great. I this place rules. <laughs> enjoy the enjoy the book. Thank you. I'll give it back. Once. I don't like. I guess I don't need it. It was. It's okay. I can give it back to you once we get back, and you meet my wife. Her name's Eliza. Um, uh, I can transfer the flower to one of my books, uh, and then you, and then I can give you your book back. This is just this is a temporary situation here. I just uh -huh. I wouldn't want to be putting it in my pocket or anything, you know. Yeah. Anything <laughs> <laughs> right. about flowers. Um. What kind of flower is it, Mister? Damn, I don't know flower types. Give me colors. I know flowers. Red. What do you want it to look like? Red. Red. Yeah, not a rose though. I don't think it really, you could like a carnation. The flat flower. flower. Be red. Great. Whatever is a cute flower that someone would get someone on a first date or not. I mean, you don't get flowers on a first date, but like, I think I told you, Haley, what the occasion was. I don't remember uh, uh, exactly what I wrote down. I had it. It's the first flower that Eliza ever. Oh, you. just oh yes, the first flower, yeah. So it's like so I'm sure that they've made a tradition of it at this point, but it's the first one, and he had it pressed in a book for a long time. Uh, but it got lost uh, in when he moved out of like Knight's living quarters into Eliza's apartment, um, and uh, and 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 now he, now he's got it back. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Person. So, Mr. Person. Um. Mister. Yep. Check. Did it. Mister Hope and Skev <clears throat> are all pretty close together. Fabius, are you? What are you doing? You got your thing back. Are you trying to find your friend? Um. Yeah, I probably would have just telepathed to everyone. I got it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that works. <laughs> ja Rebsala. Rebsala. Hello. You were looking for a rolling pin, yeah? I was. Roll an investigation for me, hon. You look for that rolling pin. Okay. <laughs> Why are you oh. so nervous? I got a 25. Boy, Deb, none of these goddamn cases have rolling pins in them. Rude. There's just no rolling pin. Like, you remember what it looked like? You remember when you lost it? You remember how upset you were when you lost it. You know everything about this goddamn rolling pin, but you're not even seeing like the wrong rolling pin. You're just not finding one. And it's like you heard Thavius got his. Uh, you heard from somewhere, Mr. and Hope, like 
triumphantly laughing at something. Presumably their thing is going pretty well. That hope Deb fell over a little bit ago, but like, <laughs> not. <laughs> what you doing? Um, I think that like knowing that everybody else is getting what they came here for and knowing that like they're here for a reason um i think that they're going to take a deep breath and start just kind of going down the aisles not looking for anything in particular mm -hmm. um because they assume that's going to have something to do with something that they might have lost in the Feywild because there is plenty of stuff in like their pack that they no longer recognized and things like their the spells that they knew changed because they had you know switched them out when they gained levels and things when they didn't remember like there's there's plenty of things that could be related to this thing so they're not like they're not picturing anything in particular they're allowing that sort of dread that comes whenever they think about the Feywild to sort of rise a little bit and then they just start walking <laughs> and looking. Okay. Can I get investigation with advantage, please? Yes. Oh, God. I'm knocking over my... Well, that was... Oh. <laughs> How'd you do, Sarah? Uh, I got a five, which is a 12 total, and a nat one. So, oh, 12. Um, at some point, you run into Thavia. Still oh. empty-handed. I um I'm okay. actually looking now. I um I'm having some trouble though. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I guess none none of you did, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to want to find it. So I guess that probably makes a difference. Would you like me to be here when you do? Um, yeah. Just I don't. Um, if, if it's like something like bad, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, yes, I want, I want you to be here, but, um, but, uh, please don't judge me for whatever it is. Deb? Yeah. Let's not write the story before it happens. Okay. Can I get another investigation? Uh, either with advantage from Thavius's help or if Thavius wants to roll one. You don't know what you're looking for, but just as the uh, emotional support I don't feel like rose. I can because I wouldn't be able to yeah, know it which one it is anyways. I'm just track. here to try and help calm their nerves yeah. a little bit. There, you're getting Thavius's help action, basically. Yeah. Let's go Bard. I'll see you never use your guidance from hope. Oh, I didn't. I didn't, did I? It does it guidance uh -huh. only last for a minute? So, oh. so true. I was Maybe figuring gone. they were kind of wasting Has so much time. Has it been time. longer than a minute? Yeah. Shit. Sorry. Well, I got a 19 that time. Okay. Um, yeah, Savius at your side. You're walking up and down rows. You find a bit where there's like cases all stacked on top of each other. Like whoever put them here thought they were running out of room, even though like they definitely still keep going. Um, no sense of order to this place, but just kind of all at once stopping you in your tracks, uh, directly in the center of an aisle, like where you've been walking, blocking your path, is a glass case with a nameplate that says Dereb Salah. And in it, rolled up, is a large canvas. All right. Deb removes the glass, picks up what the roll of canvas. Yeah, it's it's a big rolled uh, canvas, and kind of once, as soon as you get your hands on it, you recognize that whatever this is, it's it's a painting, but it's been rolled, so you can't actually see the image yet. Okay. <laughs> um, I think uh, Deb will start to unroll it. Um, if it gets to be really unwieldy and like they can't even see it, they'll probably, uh, Thavius, can you help? Can you hold one end? Yeah, oh, it's yes. uh, He'll <laughs> and start like jumping backwards. Uh, <laughs> you need to jump. I'll stop you right there. It's I'm not longer than the, Thavius. I'm using the disengage action. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> to jump better. Um, yes, you eventually get it unrolled. It is probably a little bit taller than Deb. Uh, and maybe like two and a half, three feet wide. Um, Deb, you do not remember ever in your life sitting to get a portrait done. My God. This is nothing you've never done. When in the goddamn world would you have ever sat to get a portrait done? You grew up in a little port town running deliveries. Um, but the, the center of this image, there's nobody else that could be. There's, it's a short pink tiefling with little horns in your armor decorated to the nines with uh, white and blue like flower garlands. Uh, they're in your hair. They're draped over your shoulders. Um, the look on your face is mildly uncomfortable. And you didn't even know people who did fancy portraits would put a mildly uncomfortable expression on your face. <laughs> With the fae, they just wanted to fuck with them. <laughs> just like, now you're going to look. You you don't look delighted to be painted by me. You will look mildly uncomfortable for the entirety of this. The painting. whole time. Um, and on either side of you in this image is an elf adjacent figure. Uh, one is painted in all these bright golden tones, and then the other is in these muted silvers. Uh, they look elegant. They look friendly, the way they're posed around you, and absolutely inhuman. You wouldn't even have a name for what exactly they're supposed to be, um, but they're looking down at you in this image and smiling, and this whole thing is, is beautifully painted. It's very well done. But as you're looking closer at it, the actual paint is, is worn away or wearing away in some spots as though it has been very carelessly stored for a very long time. Um, and that's, that's what you see. It is very clearly you, the way you look right now with, with more flowers. I mean... Um, I don't know who they are, but, uh, this seems, seems um, to like you. Yeah, I guess that's good. It's certainly not bad. Hey, <laughs> far from worst case, right? Yeah. It's a picture of you. You look nice. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. I, I guess I kind of thought, I don't know. I'm sort of just like embarrassed, like the a port a portrait. I don't know. It's kind of it's a little much, but um, yeah. I I guess this is what I lost at at some point. It looks much older than however long I was. I guess I don't know how long I was there, but I assumed not this this long. Oh well. Um, I I guess that that's all of us, though, right? I I heard you got your thing, and I think I heard I heard laughing. I assumed it was good laughing. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, you have retrieved your item, but you also need to reclaim it. Um, I know this is a big ask, but. We look, it's not bad. When people that loved you, even if you can't remember, because you are the sort that attracts good people, maybe this can be a first step to accepting what has happened. Yeah, I mean, it's good to know that I was with people at all, I guess. I, um, I'll maybe see if Hope can, like, her talking thing, I think, could make it there, but I don't know if they would, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, 
think about them more. And I guess I don't really know how to re- reclaim it in this moment. Um, Not everything all at once, just this is yours. And it can be good that it is yours. A happy memory to be discovered at a later date. My moms aren't going to fucking believe this. <laughs> Deb, what yeah. do you do with the, with the painting? Um, Deb canonically has that big as fuck pack. They just mm-hmm. do their best to <laughs> strap it to the outside or <laughs> stick it. I don't know. Yes. But it's on their person. Yes, it is. You have found, you have reclaimed your lost item. All five of you have your lost things. And there is, I don't even know if you were processing that this place had walls before, just because it was so expansive. You could have walked miles and never seen a wall. But all of a sudden you are very much noticing a wall because there's the brightest light you have ever perceived in a rectangular, possibly even door shape uh, <laughs> on one of them. It catches all of your eyes just because it is obnoxious. Oh, we must have completed our challenge. That's not subtle. Yeah, yeah, you think that what did everyone away? get? I got this flower. <laughs> <laughs> You're holding up a book. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> I got this very silly necklace. Isn't it ugly? Let's all laugh at it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's really um, mean. No, 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 no. It's good. It's good. Just laugh. I personally find it silly, and I'm glad I found it silly. Uh, it's, uh-huh. ve- it's very silly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, most things are silly. Fascinating perspectives, Kevin. I'd love to hear more about <laughs> they, that. They just does <laughs> not understand <laughs> what is happening. That's okay. Um, you all can get to the really, really obnoxious bright light rectangle. It doesn't dim as you get closer to it. It just gets really difficult <laughs> to approach, wait, honestly. On. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You have sunglasses? Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh. Oh, oh, no. oh. No. you're walking into the light. It ah. is bright. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. Uh, you all can uh, step through it. And I assume you do so. Yes. Unless any of you would like to real quick go steal something that's not yours and really throw off the rest of this. Nah. Okay, nah. Yes, yes, yes. I think, yes. I think <laughs> Mr. kind of gets the jig at the moment. <laughs> Uh, yes, you can all step through. And you find yourself back in a very simple space, a lot more similar to the kind of living room that that priest was in. Um, it's all dark wood. Uh, there's moist earth beneath your feet. Uh, if you look up, it's there's no roof to this space. You're looking up directly at the night sky. Um, and it's very quiet. It's very quiet, not in the sense of like, this is unnatural and wrong, but just if you've ever been to like a, like a dark sky reserve, kind of a, a place where no light pollution's ever been. Ooh. And it, it feels like no one else has ever Ooh. been here. That's... You know, somebody has, you're in a room. There's a lovely little altar in the middle of it. But just there's just this sense of like, this isn't a place where people go. This is a place for something higher than that. Um, and that's the little space that you have found yourself in. It's kind of really jarring after the crazy bright light you just walked through to now have the only light in here be from the moon above you. But here you are. Savius, there's an altar. The drop box. <laughs> the holy Dropbox. <laughs> it's labeled Google. Um, no. <laughs> maybe this will say, oh, um, <clears throat> oh, that's it then. Um, can 
I have a minute? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to produce the coin. I'm going to set it on the ground. Okay. Babies has a hunch. Given where we are, Mm -hmm. that Lathe might be able to produce enough power for our normal paragraph conversation to appear in potentially a spectral physical form and see. Okay. Just because we're directly in this place. Yes. Yes, and is are. going to concentrate on it really hard, give a little bit of the energy of his soul to it <gasps> to try and boost it. Yeah. And see how much he can bring out. Yeah. Um, Savia steps down this coin. You you've all seen the coin many a time. You know this is Savius's magic coin. He sets it down um, and kind of steps away to focus. And Slowly, at first, almost like a trick of the light or like something catching like a like a dust mote. It's just like a little sparkle of something. And then it kind of fades. And then there's a little sparkle of something a few inches away. Um, and it fades. And it keeps happening until very, very slowly and carefully the silhouette of a man kneeling next to the coin uh, fully composed of like twinkling lights, um, never quite staying in the same place. You can't really make out like features. You can catch like long hair, the limbs. It seems like maybe he's got like a cape going, um, just kneeling next to the coin, head down. Um, Fabius, there he is. And I'm sure at this point he can he'll still only be able to talk to me in my head, I'm I think. Here's here's a question. Do you want to try and give more of your energy to him manifesting here? He can manifest this much because he's in literally the house of his god. Um, I want to give him one more look. Yeah. Um Okay, if you would like for him to be able to essentially, like, see, hear, talk, I'm going to need a level of exhaustion from you. Can I give two? You can give two. <laughs> what, are, what else are you doing? What's the second one? <laughs> you, you, you didn't even... You can give two. No, you can give two. <laughs> uh, you're going to take two levels of exhaustion. Like, you can all kind of physically see baby. It's, like, tense. <clears throat> Do we see the guy... Yes, do we see his face see yet, or is oh, he just a do? kneeling guy? He's so far just a kneeling guy. Okay. You all hear Thavius make a sound of like pain, and all of this light kind of coalesces a little bit into a clearer image. Like you can make out a nose and a jaw. Um, like you can see him a lot clearer, and he looks almost like a like a physical form. He looked very very spectral and uh, ephemeral before, but now. After Thavius just made a big sound, um, that's like a guy okay. kneeling on the ground. Do you think it's safe to say that someone as invested in the safety of the kingdom would know? Well, I guess not know him from his face. You wouldn't know him. I would ass- okay, but I would assume that Mister's heard of him before. He saved the world. Yeah, no, you probably have. Okay, but but I forgot if, that if his photos don't dropped. exist. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. I, I was thinking about whether or not I'd recognize him, him, but he I I take it back. I probably wouldn't recognize him. Never would have met him. him. Yeah. Um, oh. Because so. they they got back from hell. Right. Then like, instead the I'll day look before you guys met. Like the day before this party yeah. met is when they got back yeah. from hell. So sure. you weren't working for the king during like their hell mission. You just heard about it after the fact. Oh, sure. Yeah. No, I I yeah, assume yeah, yeah. that a lot of people heard about it. Or I yeah. don't I don't know how how word spreads around the kingdom, but uh, how many people did Faye tell? You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what I'll say that instead, Mister will look expectantly at Scavendy, seeing if it's Pete, like just seeing, <laughs> like trying to read Scavendy's face. Right, right. And I clock for Mister doing that, and I kind of see as a group. Uh, I'm not seeing a sacred spade. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, Thavius, are you look, okay? He has, a, he has a broomstick in his hand. Oh, uh, across yeah, his lap. No, that's look. not. No, that's no Diggerson. That's not. <laughs> That would be a shovel if it was Diggerson. Right. <laughs> Are you? Uh... 
What? Are you there, friend? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And you can all hear um, uh, in this you're, quiet. You're on speaker. Yes. <laughs> 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 um, what the fuck did you do? I figured he spent long enough being this tired when we spoke. I wanted to try it. Not fun. I wouldn't have recommended it. Are you okay? I wanted you to meet the people that have made it possible for me to bring you home. Uh, and this man made of starlight kind of like uses this broomstick shaped thing as like almost like a like a help to get up and stand. It's shaky. It's shaky watching him stand. Um, and then he's standing. I guess technically he's sh shorter than most of you because you're all tall <laughs> as hell. <laughs> Not Deb, though. Taller than Deb, taller than Skev Hunched. Um, and he's just, he's just looking. He's just looking around. Like he can't even like focus anywhere. Mm -hmm. He's just taking in. <clears throat> All uh, of it. Thavius is going to go one by one. He's going to go over to Sir Mister, tap him on the shoulder, and say, "You've heard me talk about it before, but this is Sir Mister Person. It's an honor to meet you, Knight of the King of Ire. It's an uh, honor to meet. Oh, sorry. yep, Thavius, you were. Yep. <laughs> this is uh, this is seventy three. Would would uh, Haley? Do, yeah. would one of Faye's posters made it into the library. <laughs> Probably she put out a lot of them. So the, can I at least roll history then? Sure. Yeah, you can. Okay. Roll history. Great. Probably do the same, or what should, should I mean? Yeah. Why don't you roll history as well? Okay. I crit. <laughs> uh, a, a twenty, I assume. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah. an actual twenty. Yes. I mean, I got a seventeen, but you know. You'll you'll be able to recognize him because you like had drawings of him right. uh, on on a portrait. Um, yeah, Mister, you see like broomstick hair cape, and you connect enough dots. You connect like timeline. Right. Um. Yeah. Cool. That's Labe Nightrim. He saved the world. Yeah, Mister immediately uh uh like bends the knee, just like oh. just like slams the knee down. An honor. No, you can you can send. So, it's I okay. I didn't tell them who you were, so he might have just figured it out nothing. now. I told you. Nothing. This this, well, this man's appeared on posters in the library. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what posters? Oh, you're you're quite. Do you have the one? The known hero. Well, not not on my person, ah. unfortunately. <laughs> did they did they do me justice? Oh, of course, it's an honor, <laughs> Mister. Like, uh. Almost like reaches out to try to touch him and then thinks better of it. Oh, no, know. no, no. And he reaches out a hand. Uh, I uh, haven't been able to do this in years. Please. Uh, uh. <laughs> he grabs your hand. <laughs> uh, uh. What, what does it feel like? Uh, static. If, sorry, what? Static. -y. Static. Ooh. Ah. He like buzzes. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I Ooh. stopped hurting. <laughs> oh no, it was good. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, Maybe we should have like... tried this before. <laughs> um, I don't. I think this is only possible because of what I gave and because of where we are. I can feel it. Yeah. Um. You have more. Sorry. These... You, yes. You too. Uh, this is. This is. He's gonna look at hope for a second. Think about it. And give a Kurt hope. An honor. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am so excited. <laughs> I feel like I've been anticipating this moment for quite a long time, y'all. But you might not have known that I've been anticipating it. And I did not quite yeah. know the extent of which I had been anticipating oh, it. But right. it is an honor done the same. <laughs> honor is mine. And this is Dereb Salah. The best oh. baker you'll ever meet. Yeah, uh, I guess you've got all sorts of senses. Do you want um, to try something? I've got uh, yeah, some stones. Yeah, let's see if it works. Or, <laughs> Might as well. Um, 
okay. Uh, and what you got? I didn't will... taste anything in a very long time. And the things that I tasted before, you know, they weren't good. So Ooh. anything you've got. I'll, My I'll last meal that. was bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was oh. in hell. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Not, it's... Yeah. Uh, that was digging through their pack. I think they will produce um, some carrot cake. Nice. Good choice. Nice. <laughs> Love carrot cake. Pro Damn. Carrot cake. Real quick, favorite cakes, everyone? What do we got well, here? Lady is allergic to carrots and his soul is Red, lost forever. Oh, interesting. <laughs> cheesecake, friend. Ooh. What? Can't go wrong with cheesecake. Cheesecake. cheesecake that all right, not technically a cake, but no, it's good. I would take I would take angel food like lathered in. I love cool. cheesecake, but I wouldn't call it a angel cake. Angel food's great by its own. In the name. Yeah, but that doesn't make it a cake. I mean, just because you call it a cake. It's a custard. <laughs> no. Pack. He said. Um. <laughs> Oh, my favorite cake? Yes, your favorite cake. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. This is um, important right now. <laughs> like, I like plenty of them. I do enjoy chocolate. Classic. Angel food cake's also very good. I'd say carrot cake is honestly probably my favorite. Carrot cake is very good. It. Yeah. If cheesecake counted, it would be cheesecake, but cheesecake doesn't count. Don't say these things. <laughs> Cake's I like the name. it. Uh, Lathe takes this carrot cake from you. And just kind of like does a like almost like cheers at you with it. Um, he puts it up to his mouth and it like instantly dissolves. I don't think I was supposed to try that. Oh, <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, um... No, I'm sorry. I'm sure it was very good, but now it's gone. Okay. I'm sorry uh, about that. No, it's okay. Um, I, I um, I'm sorry. I'm not as familiar with you, I, I guess, as some. Um, of the other members of my party, but I want I wanted to say I'm very I'm glad that your coin ended up with Davius. Me too. <laughs> well, um That's fun. I this is you didn't introduce Kevin. Probably he says Kevin. Oh Jesus. never mind. <laughs> we talked about Leigh being on a poster. That's right. I take it back. Um, <laughs> carry on. This is probably not very easy for either of us to maintain at this point. <laughs> no, no, no. Like you can see the, the light like um, flickering and fading at his fingertips and I I just wanted to do this part right. I appreciate that. I'm gonna give him a hug. Oh, he hugs you back. Big oh, hugger. Lame. That must feel awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, stop. You gotta stop. <laughs> so much nice... gonna be chasing the dragon for so long. Such a nice moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr.'s greatest talent is ruining moments. <laughs> uh, okay. no, Lave is a big hugger. He's he's been deprived of hugs for a very long time <clears throat> um and he, he hugs you like it's the last hug he'll ever give your letters are out thank you and apologies about breaking that tiny little promise here but uh i know none of them will uh, say anything about who you are and i i will make two <laughs> extra looks at Mr. <laughs> when I say that. I just really don't want any of you to die. <laughs> if you ever see a very small wizard, run. Run away. <laughs> any small any go. small wizard? I, there's I know we're short. Tired. I know we're short Red on time. Head. I can explain that later. <laughs> um, it's she just she she's great. It's I think if I'm you sure. met her any other way, you know, okay, you'd like her, but she this way not. not it's been an way. honor. It has, and I, I'm going to keep going. You said it. <laughs> you had 
better. The world would be so much worse if you stopped. You're staying here, right? As long as I can. That's all you can tell me. It certainly is. Well. Is that for me? And he's over to the altar. It is. I'd ask if you're ready, but I don't... (laughs) I'm not. Savius, I... I'm not. That's okay. Would you do the honors? I, um, can't touch it. Yes. Uh, He's gonna pick up the coin, walk it over, um, probably, like, wrap around to the other side so that I can look at him. Yeah. Uh, Sort of just place it delicately right in the middle while touching it. Mm -hmm. Um, And say, goodbye. Lay the night room. Good night. And he starts to uh, break apart all these little lights that were constructing this man, this figure, begin to float away from each other um, and and drift away and away and away. And it's so quiet here. There's not even any breeze. And you just watch as this form dissipates and floats up into the night sky above you until you cannot um, follow it anymore. The quiet around you is suddenly much less pleasant and much more unnatural as the coin on the altar darkens the opposite of glowing. It's like any light coming in is being absorbed and darkening. Uh, And around you, the world goes just a little bit grayscale. I'm real quick going to cast Bless on Hope, Thavius, Scavendi. Okay. It's a little bit grayscale. And if any of you were to open your mouth to talk, there would be no sound. Oh, good, because I was going to try to say, like, oh, I will be, I think we should be heading out. (laughs) (laughs) You do that. You you begin to try and speak, and your voice doesn't reach your own ears or anybody else's ears. I still have telepathy active. Okay, yes, you do. You are just going to hear, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, now I'm foggy. (laughs) (laughs) I... I want to cast a spell, but I can't because there's a verbal component to it. Mm. So that sucks. If you have one without a verbal component, you could. Bless also has a verbal component. Did I get it off in time? I'll say you did. Nice. It's because you already said you did it. Um, Thanks, Haley. Yeah, all of you get this, this little shift in your perception. There's no sound. The color is draining away. Um, the four of you who aren't Savius feel numb in the fingertips and the toes. Um, and Savius, you're watching color just drain from your friends and from the space around you. Um, I think Savius is going to out loud scream no, which doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and is just going to full hand grasp the coin. Okay. The all four of you that aren't Savius watch Savius grab the coin and collapse. Savius. You collapse. Um, but you do, <laughs> there you go. But you don't even perceive that you don't even notice that 
because what you're perceiving is your soul being fully separated from your physical body. <gasps> and you see for just a moment in front of you a gargantuan figure shrouded in black feathers, with a skull like a raven. Looks down at you, tilts her head, and then you're back in your own body, holding instead of this now empty coin, a long black raven feather, a blessing from the Raven Queen. And slowly around the rest of you, the color is coming back. You get all the feeling back in your little fingers and toes. Uh, and you can, it's like your ears pop. And you can hear the quiet sounds did of the we, world around you. Did we see Big Bird? No, it's just <laughs> no. for Thavius. You oh. all just saw Thavius collapse for a moment. Got it. And then yeah. come back holding a feather instead okay. of one. Okay. How did you do that? Are you okay? Duh. Um. Duh. I... He's gonna like instinctively try to, what well, every time he, he was anxious, nervous, you know, sad, lonely, whatever, he would the comfort was grabbing the coin. He's going to try mm -hmm. to, and it's this feather instead. Yeah. He's going to do it and just sort of shake for a second and say, I'm alone. No, you're not. Gab is immediately going to kneel down in front of him <laughs> and like take his hand, <laughs> like where the, like over the feather. Mm -hmm. You're not, you, we're, we're here. I don't know what this is, the um, but you don't worry about any. We're here, okay? Yeah, we're here. Yes, we're here. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. I need to leave now. Yeah, that's... yeah me too. We, no, I'm we... sorry. I'm sorry. We <laughs> we need to leave now. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Which way is the exit? Well, there, there's no clear exit, but you all can recall where you entered from, uh, and if you were to touch that same spot you would actually find uh, a very hidden little door handle. Oh. You could open right up into a dark void. Wonderful. <laughs> Your favorite. Yeah, we like those. <laughs> Babies is so much more comforted by a dark void, as long as there's no gray. <laughs> uh -huh. What shade of void do you prefer? <laughs> Darkest possible. <laughs> God I'm starting to getting up there to gray, and I'm spooked. Oh, Gotta go. a <laughs> uh, But all of right. you can step into this dark void time. And uh, you find yourself stepping back into uh, the living room of that man who's back to knitting. Who once again looks really startled when you walk, <laughs> when you walk in. You're actually walking in through the same door that you walked through um, to get to the Lost Things room. Yeah. You just ran coming back. There. Great. Mm -hmm. Did you did you say there was a side table in this room? Door. Yeah, definitely. There's okay, tables, so chairs. I have parchment in my inventory. Right. I would like to take some out uh -huh. and uh, fold it into a paper hat. Uh huh. And then be like, "Hey, Thavius, can I see that feather?" <laughs> And I, I, I stick it in there and I put it on his head and I say, macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> so that baby is wearing a paper hat with a feather in it? That baby is doodle dandy. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Oh, like wow. a foot long raven feather. <laughs> looks great. Looks, looks good, man. You look sharp. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, the priest just watches on in confusion. <laughs> uh, look, looks like it went well. He points to like Hope's necklace. Good job. I've Thanks. never had anybody not come back, but I've heard other people have had people not come back. Well, I'm very glad to see you all back. Good, glad to be back. Thanks for letting us glad use to be back, I have to say. the lost and found. <laughs> you are so welcome. I hope you are all feeling uh, found. Usually why people come here. A lot of cool sure. stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff a lot in there. A lot of cool stuff, yeah. yeah. I mean, you couldn't, I mean, you couldn't have taken I couldn't have, it. yeah. I'm, the, way, the way you're nodding is just a little bit. Squeaky clean. I'm nodding for my appreciation of looking at cool stuff. Don't need to keep I, it. Love to look at it. You know, come back whenever you want. Are you I serious? I am lonely. That's really cool. How do, do I have to do the whole getting lost thing every time? Yes. Damn. Yep. Yeah. All yeah. right. See, that's, um, I kind of can't leave. Because if I do, you know, it's really hard for me to get I lost. Could, uh, I could bring my wife here. I think she'd like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, that'd be fun, I think. Yeah. Do you yeah. need, like, a pen pal? Do you A pen pal? You? Yeah, do you need, like, a pen pal? Yeah, can I write you letters? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're going to have to address it to House of Celestian and then just, like, hope you get somebody who knows how to do that. Okay. Um, just write them out to Thimble. They'll get to Thimble, me. Thimble, you got it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Excellent. What do you want can updates on? Can I also on? write to you? Anything. I'm so sorry. Anything? Can I also okay. write to I can you, do that. please? Can I yeah, would love no, to know that'd be great. that's all right. I would that love would be awesome. to. <laughs> okay, do you have a name? I gave you mine, but I didn't even ask. Me or her? Yeah, both. Uh, my, yes, my name is Sir Mr. Person. Wonderful. Yes. That's a that's a beautiful name. Thank you. Coming back into style. Thank. Um, I, that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. More babies named Mister every day. Mm -hmm. I swear. Um, and 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 your name as well. My second pen pal. Yes, my name is Hope. That's that's beautiful. That's wonderful. Uh, do you guys need anything else before you? Leave? I assumed you're leaving. I don't mean to kick you out. Do you need um, anything else though? Th Davius is gonna look at him for a moment. And say, can I ask a question? Yeah, of course. Do you know? Do you know what the realm of Celestian is like? Well, I um, I've never been, but uh, it's called the constellation. And my my understanding is that it's very beautiful and big and dark. Um, a lot of, I mean, a lot of the the. The mythos is that, I mean, you're in the constellations and you get to uh, watch watch the world turn, you know? Hope that everyone else who's lost gets found. I, uh, I think he would like that. I clap Thavius on the back. <laughs> Good work. Yes, uh, Hope, what's up? Doing. Jenny? <laughs> Jenny, are you send good? Do you something? Wait. You want to try sending the lay that he's dead? <laughs> you can send to people in, other, in different planes, right? I guess. Can you send to a dead guy who's dead? Sorry, is that how sending works? You can just send message dead well, people? Well, no, well, you can message people who are in different planes, but I don't know if dead people count. Does it count if they're dead? Are you sending souls? Sending. There's no way. A third level spell <laughs> should not let you talk to dead people. No I, way does that let you talk to no dead way. people. There's no way. You can't. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> Creature with which you're familiar. Here's the message in his mind. He doesn't have a mind anymore. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it says any any other plans. I'm just, he doesn't have a mind anymore. He is made of stars. And stars <laughs> don't have brains. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> so take that. I think I it's know. more of consciousness, you know? You want to try to message Lays? 
Oh yeah, for sure. That was, I mean, like Hope didn't just like think about it really hard. <laughs> yeah, I'll use a religion spell check. Slot. That's not how spells work. Roll me a religion check. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got real good. Let me just religion check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crit, 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 crit. Not a crit. Nah. <laughs> religion? Mm-hmm. Um, 22. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being threatened. I'm being threatened in my own home. I'm being threatened with guns. Um, here's okay. Not have spell list. Not what you're supposed to do, even a little bit. Um, you did just see Lave. I did. And you just watched where he was supposed to go. Mm-hmm. Um, you think you could get a message off, but you are not confident you could get one back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'm just saying, just like, was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Lane um, is like, just gonna be like, what's that? And then, what's that? <laughs> Hang on. Is there a, oh, and if you, well, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll just say, I'll just say, it was a pleasure to meet you how many how many words 25 25 mm-hmm. <laughs> hope it's nice there <laughs> Fabius is worried it's not but <laughs> i'm sure it is <laughs> you have five more five more I have five more <laughs> Hope has never been so concise in her life. <laughs> you guys are watching Hope this say this out loud. Yeah. Counting to herself. Oh, tell, oh, oh if, if she's going out loud, I'll go, tell him I say hi. I'll, 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 I'll first pause the thing. Davis, did you want to say anything? Oh, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I got five words. Uh, <laughs> I have five words left. Davis is, Davis is just going to say, I, I've said what I needed to. Okay. So Mr. Person says hi. <laughs> the last words Lay's Night Rim will ever, ever experience hear. is Sir Mr. Person says hi. <laughs> uh, and you, you feel the message get sent and received but you do not receive anything in return. Well, that was lovely. <laughs> I agree. Uh, Thimble looks to the five of you. Any, anything, truly anything I can do for you before you leave. Boy, you're so accommodating. I don't know what to do. Do you want any like kindness. religious texts? I have a lot. Did you have you ever heard of someone named Pete Diggis? <laughs> no. Damn. No. Wow. You got a uh, you got a How book you? that you don't want anymore. I don't want just like a bad book. Just like a yeah shitty loser book for losers. Um, I don't. It's fine. It's fine. If you're taking uh, I think this all long, literature is valuable. That in can't way. be true. There's it no way it's way. all valuable, Listen, right? I live here all by myself. Okay, that's <laughs> I fine. I have like that's fine. I was just trying eight I'm, books that aren't about. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat yeah. it. It's all good. Do you want a book about the last year? Sure. That's, that's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds valuable. Yeah. Yeah. He just like slides you over a nice thick oh, book. Damn, this will help me on the road. Anything else? Uh, yes. Sue, sir. It's Can been you? on the fire. Sorry, robot. What would you like? I was just going to ask if you could confirm a piece of information. Ooh, I've actually read, I've read texts on spaces similar to the one that we've entered. This 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 looking space, if you will. You know, okay. this, this, we're going to look for the things. <laughs> the one, the, the lost and found. Right, yeah. and I've only, I mean, one specific story I had, I had, I had read many a times. It's one of my favorites, actually. Um, and and there is a man. Who is said to exist that still hasn't found what he's looking for? Uh, I mean, there could be one in there. I believe his name was was, was Rano or Tano. I can't quite place it. I don't know this. I don't, I don't know if I know this one. Do you, um, where did you where did you hear it? 
Yeah, it's it's it's. I, wait, I read it. I read it. You read it in what book? Uh, it was a it was an old collection of of, of volumes I got from a from a fair. A fair. Yeah, several, several unincorporated, fair. unauthored pieces. <laughs> One of my favorites. I had to ask. No, you know oh. I can do. Yeah. I can help if you need it. <laughs> you help thinking about finding or about Well, I would like no, I want man you to me forever. I'm asking you. I just wanted to. Yeah, no. I I honestly don't probably know as much um like updated information as I should. Again, I live here alone. Um but yeah, if you have any more information about where you found that or like the guy's name, I'd love to hear it. Uh Rano, Kano, you said? You must Kano? Rhyme with one of those. Got to yeah. rhyme with one of those. Quano? Maybe. Maybe. Could be. I'll, I'll ask around about Quantum. Mm-hmm. I'll Sounds see if he ever can find correct. what he's looking for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. It's got to be in a text somewhere. Do you guys want soup? Yes, please. <laughs> yes. <John. laughs> I'm that lovely. What flavors the soup? It is carrot cake. Uh, <laughs> there's like some there's some potatoes and some celery. And a couple of spices. I have like a little spice garden out front. Nice. Let me see how I got out here. Yeah. Um, and he just starts like scooping you up little bowls of soup. Uh, and you can all safely spend the night having a meal with Thimble, asking him questions about Bono for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I have, so Hope has a spell called Legend Lore. Where oh you my just God. Get to like, you know oh, everything really? about Bono. Oh, <laughs> It takes Hope. 10 minutes to cast, but I imagine Hope wow. tells you all the stories about Bono yeah. while you're eating soup with Thimble, yeah. and it's a great night. You will have a good time. You can rest here. It's not comfortable. It's mostly wooden chairs, um, but you can rest here, and in the morning, you can find your way back to your road and keep heading north towards Tile, where a very anxious Eliza person uh, is readying her home. Honey, I'm home! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> boom when he kicks in the door again. <laughs> boom! <laughs> well, hello, my wife! <laughs> and that's where we'll end. <laughs> Soul Woo! coin inclusion! Bitcoin included! Bitcoin included! <laughs> there was going to be combat in there, and then the moment was too sweet, and I didn't know. Yeah, want. also, it, it, we were getting we were getting there. Get in time. Moment was too sweet. Yeah, Couldn't do it. Happens. I had to just let Lathe go That's peacefully. Nice. It's good. It was. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Why did you put Bono in my podcast? <laughs> I don't know what's Bono. No choice. You're right. No. I, was, I was debating making a joke right as you said that, where where Thavius was also trying to think of the name and going, "Oh, you too." You you also are thinking of this one, uh, but but that didn't feel appropriate for his character. No, no. Oh my god. Oh. Anyways, yeah. Special thanks to John for giving us the material for the next four arcs of the podcast. Uh, Love to see it. Thank yeah, you. Good, good, good. I was already planning arc nine, but I guess I'm throwing it away. <laughs> um. <laughs> Well, hey, thanks everyone for watching. Who's in the chat? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We hope you liked it. We hope you liked I Arc think Seven. It's the only time we've had over a hundred people the As whole well. time. Well done. Thanks Dang. for sticking around, gang. Thank you so um, much. Uh, if 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 you like this and you want more, next week Winter <laughs> Summer School is coming out. Uh, that's, it is. That's a one shot. I run it. Uh, Zach Oyama's in it Haley's in it James from Arc 5 is in it Sean from Arc 4 is in it uh, It's a good fun time I just watched the video cut of it uh, The other night And it's a blast um, And then the week after that uh, Arc 8 begins um, Arc 8 episode 0 Monday May 16th mm-hmm. uh, The King is Dead um, High Politics PvP It's gonna be great Um uh, I have just pushed the button to publish my first Lathe letter mm. onto Patreon. Great. You can go read um, Lathe Talk to the Armid and hear it. You, yep. Yeah. And hear it. It's also me recorded it again. It's rough. It's just me and a microphone. So I hope you have a good time with that. It's um, a good microphone, though. We got good It's microphone. a good microphone. Yeah. Do I use it correctly? Who knows? It's but a that's there forever for question. Yeah, it truly is. 
Um, and again, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, it's patreon.com slash unsupportedcasters. We're currently working towards our next goal, where we will run a battle royale charity live stream for Trans Lifeline, uh, which I'm very excited about the potential. We've never done this before. It's going to be great. Love to. Yeah, it's going to be great. I think it's um well shoot y'all um thank you for watching thanks for letting us play D D in front of you uh yeah. we hope you have a good time and we'll see you the next time that we do something like this uh thank you everyone for playing good stuff goodbye okay bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs>